we are back in business. We are. Are we ready? Find your tweet. Oh, that's funny. Gotta gotta love the internet, right? With um the memes for Yakuza <laughs> slash like a dragon. Mm -hmm. I already oh, and, kids. Also, <laughs> and also just only now people are discovering that Tia and Tamara, you remember the the twins from from uh, Disney? Mm. Sister, sister. Yes. Yeah. It's like Tia and Tamara have been haven't been close in years. What? It's like yeah, just because they're twins doesn't mean they're gonna be fucking. You know, yeah, like, like stuck together. Like, twinsies. You know, <laughs> yeah, twinsies. Yeah. They're gonna have they're they're gonna have their own personality and stuff and. Yep, they're all. I forget, I forget which one, but one of them is going through a very heavy divorce. So it's like, Ooh. leave them alone, please. Yeah, okay. Just <laughs> damn. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's just uh, how, how to say it nicely. Uh, fuck off mm -hmm. <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is quite the <laughs> an introduction. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, quite the way to start this week. Uh, so we are back for this uh, edition of the Hypecast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. With yours truly as always, uh, Sean, aka Hawk Five Two Five, with my cohort as always, Zala. Um, we do have quite. We're the... still not. Oh wait, wait. Oh. I was gonna say. I'm still in a tank top because it's still fucking hot over here. We're not going to get our cold season until November. How about that, kids? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and then meanwhile, us is uh, already hit getting that uh, the fall weather. So, especially at night, it's pretty nice, man. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'll, uh, at I'll... night, it, it's, like a, it's like a fucking low, low 86. Wow, damn, dude. I don't know. Well, that's Hawaii for you. Uh, I love yep, the... but once 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 we get to that um fall weather, yeah, yeah, seventy five degrees is cold to some people, but again, it's a it's a it's a different cold. Mm -hmm. It's a tropical cold. Like you're like, holy crap! It's like yes. Mm -hmm. That's why the people that lives on the mountainside on the island they don't need a AC. Because they have the winds mm -hmm. blowing through their damn house, so mm -hmm. free AC pretty much. Mm -hmm. Nature's AC. Well, until until the mountain starts to you know um, stretch, and then you just see. While the seasons are changing, there are, uh, I guess you could say, some changes come into some people right um in today's news but uh we'll get to that so let's start off with fighting games shall we as always so let's hit this this battle is about to explode and happy 21st everybody mm -hmm. all right so um this is very unexpected so um in midst of the still the hype sort of marketing for um fatal fury city of city of the wolves and all that stuff or just snk in general yep Cristan cristanio ronaldo of all people uh, has suddenly um tweet a video about something for uh snk slash uh fatal fury so i took a l brief look at it so i i didn't like quite get the gist of everything but we'll just play it
So yes, um, see, I'm not sure if this is like just like him saying, "Oh yeah, I'm going to go in on um, mm -hmm. Fatal Fury," or this is just like a like a marketing thing, like, "Hey, say, hey, hey um, say this," you know, kind of like you know, you know, you know, it's like those like you know McDonald's like celebrity meals or whatever. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. you're kind of like pretending to be like, "Oh yeah, I, I eat this all the time," or "I order this all the time." I mean, it could be real, but. You know, for the most part, it is a marketing ploy or whatever. So it could be that, just that. But damn, you know, if that's really the case, I wonder how much money they pumped out for Ronaldo here. Yeah. Or the other side could be like, he actually wants to play Fatal Fury and got together with SNK, be like, hey, you know, maybe we could do something about, you know, this and that or something. So um, who knows, man? I mean, what do you what do you think? What do you make of this? I mean, at first, because of the soccer field, I thought it was something to do with Captain Tsubasa. I was like, mm -hmm. wow, that's fucking weird. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't who want to know what Captain Tsubasa is, it's a really, what, old? Yeah, well, pretty. Old it's, a, it's an old, yeah, it's kind of a classic. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. not, it, uh, it is a classic among, amongst sports manga. Is it? It was made in the seventies or eighties. I want to say it's around the eighties, maybe late seventies, but I want to say around eighties. Because it wasn't. It was during the same time as um. What's the other? Uh, it's the other captain, but it was in space. Oh, the, the space um pirate one. Like Galaxy oh, Pirate ninety nine 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 ninety nine or something. No. Or, um. Oh man. It's like right into my tongue. <laughs> I mean, Space Harlock. There you go. Harlock, yes. Uh, yeah, Space Pirate Captain Harlock. Yeah. yeah. I think it was around that time. Uh, what does it say? Oh, Nin there was, this one says 81. So, yeah, there you go. Wait, right. Okay, so Harlock was Harlock was 90. I mean, 70, 77. So, kind of? Kind of close ish. Yeah, because Harlock um, ended in 79. Mm hmm But yeah. Let me see this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm hmm But again, the these uh animes we're dropping, they're pretty good. Harlock is like if you really love space pirates and stuff, watch Harlock or read it. Mm hmm It's really good. Yes. But yeah, I mean but, um, back to back here. To you. What do you what do you think? I I yeah, mean, I, I'm I'm not a big um, soccer slash uh, football fan. Mm -hmm. Remember, kids, you got to call soccer is not called soccer in other parts of the world. It's called football. Except except for America and Japan of all places, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is funny. Um, but yeah, like it's like... strange <laughs> to put it at, to. At, at the very least, it's strange for sure. Unless he's going to voice like a character, like maybe, a up, new yeah. and upcom new and upcoming character, then maybe I can see it. Maybe it could be like a stage with soccer and then like you know the branding, all that stuff with yeah. Ronaldo's team or whatever. That could be one, but it says like a, jo a legendary player joins the game or something, so. Who knows what could that mean? Like it could be like him joining, actually playing the game like to a serious level, or um, maybe like a skin relating to Ronaldo for a character. I'm not sure, or or like um like soccer uniforms for some characters or something. That you know, other than that, very very weird. Because this is this person is definitely one of the most um iconic soccer players as of right now so right now yes kind of like david beckham back in the day before he retired you know that um sort of player and even way back was um you know for women's soccer anyway it was uh, mia ham right remember that name a lot of commercials with her you know with nike and all that stuff even like even the milk commercial featured her i believe milk ads and everything you know got milk that those 
type of Man. type of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, um, this could be potentially be big, right? For um, a lot of things, right? We definitely don't know what will be the outcome of it for sure, but this is you know South America, right? Which I'm I'm sure there is a big um sort of or strong uh, SNK scene with you know KOF stuff and also um, Fatal Fury, right? And just the love for uh, King of Fighters in general, um, besides Mexico and such, and Central America, uh, Central American places. So I'm sure you know this is kind of like right up there, uh, up their alley, right for Brazil, uh, Brazilians and other other South Americans, Chileans and um, Argentinians and all that stuff, you know. Um, but you know, it's hard to say of what is going to what what exactly is going to go down so that's uh that's all i gotta say um anything else you got for the ronaldo slap uh ronaldo collaboration Yeah, the only other big hint is like, you know, this like big or, you know, like the steel door or this containment door or whatever it is yeah. breaking through. So it's like it's kind of like um, almost like, you know, making him look like, you know, the beast, right? You know, like Daigo levels yeah. almost in, in, in that sense. So, again, it's like, are you is he playing the, the game or is he appearing in the game somehow or some or is he voicing a character like you said? Um who knows? Who the mm. hell knows? Maybe he'll maybe he'll be like a a big like feature in the M, the as an NPC or something. Since um, uh, City of the Wolves will have some sort of RPG mode, right? That's like their quote unquote world tour. You know, to not not really compete with Street Fighter Six, but you know, just to have some sort of like single player content thing. Maybe I don't know. We'll uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on eye out for that for sure. Yep. All right, moving along. Um, we got an announcement of an announcement for Tekken Eight. Uh, the gameplay trailer for Heihachi Mishima. Right, we all know he's back. And you, you can you can touch the wrinkles like. <laughs> yes you got that nice thick mustache you know he's still old <laughs> right like it, it was weird because like the that shot or that trailer look made him look like he was a little younger for some reason because like his hair was like darker I mean, but not gray i mean maybe because when he landed into the lava he he pretty much it was like the lazarus effect from mm -hmm. batman the anime series so instead of mm. jumping into the last bit, he went into the lava and he's like, I'm beautiful now. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, like, sir, that's not how, how lava works. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's slated to come out 7 in the morning at uh, on the 24th of September, which is right on the Tuesday. So, yeah, Tuesday morning. Um, there's already people waiting for him, just spamming the chat, just a bunch of different stuff. You know, so you know, it, it goes to show that he still has a lot of love. He's like, he was like, he was like the early per, po, uh, poster boy, right? Because yeah. um, it was him, and then uh, it it was, and then it was um, his son, uh, Kazuya, yeah. and and then um, no Jin, and then Jin and Tekken three, and then kind of yeah. like bounced back and forth between the three, you know, and then, and then of course Tek up to Tekken eight. It was basically, the, you know, like the battle of the poster boys. <laughs> um, battle of father and son, pretty much claiming well, the... Uh, well, for, well, that was for no. seven, and then eight was... Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it, it's father and son, and then and then <laughs> next one is also father and son, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> different fathers and son, kind of. But still the same or similar dynamic, right? I guess yeah, it is. It is still a poster boy battle, you know. So, kind of funny of how that all that played out. 
But not, either way, he's still alive somehow, and we'll, I guess, find out how he came out alive still, what happened right after he got punched in the chest or whatever. <laughs> his, no, his, his wife sent her... Um... Oh, am I getting it? Mixed up. Kazumi? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was his wife. Yes. She she told she, she called up Akuma going like, "Hey, uh, he's not ready to die yet. Can you kick him away from me? Got it. Thank." Mm -hmm. <laughs> one last one last thing, right, for uh, Akuma before he left the uh, the Tekken world or so whatever. <laughs> one last little request. Like, then Akuma like briefly stop his world tour in in Street Fighter. Um. Street Fighter Six to mm -hmm. just come back to Tekken World and just slap him away from the lava. Like, mm -hmm. Swoosh. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> yep. My interest in Heihachi is how is the heat mechanic gonna work with him? Yes, right. That is is he a... gonna be able to do more electric, or is he gonna do more headbutts? Mm -hmm. <laughs> be happy. I wonder if you'll have like some sort of fire along with the lightning because of the lava, right? So maybe that'd be kind of cool, actually. Like he he'll have fire and lightning in his hands. Oh, uh, okay, oh, okay. Calm down, there, Fire Nation. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the lightning. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we we all can't be fucking freaking Princess Azula right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or Iro, man. Iro is sick. Or Iro, or uh, see, I already forgot his name. Um, Korra's ex. Oh, oh, um, yeah, see, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that guy. <laughs> um, yeah, because I remember Bolin. Bolin, Bolin, yeah, Bolin. I remember Bolin because he's like, yeah, he's good. He's such a he. He deserve, he deserved better, man. He deserves so much better. He deserved better writing yes. in the later season. Yes, for sure. For Mako. Sure. Oh God, Ma Mako. Yeah, Mako. that's right. Because yeah, because <laughs> the voice actor right for Iro was named after yeah, or he was named after, or his name was, yeah. um, uh, in honor right. Used it in honor. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But Mako. Yeah. Um, I didn't care for Mako. To, to be honest, I care. I definitely care, cared him less than I did with Bolin for yeah. sure. But I wouldn't say I hated Bolin? him. But yeah, I don't know. They, he just yeah, wasn't... I wouldn't like say I hated Mako. It was just more like I don't care. Yeah, you, it's indifference. Yeah, except for that one scene. Um, I think I think it was in book three. They brought um Mako. Well, Mako brought both um. Asami and um, Korra to see his grandmother, and the grandma was like, "Oh, you look so beautiful. Why aren't you dating my my grandson?" It's like, "Oh yeah." Who oh. <laughs> wants to tell her? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that show was kind of like all over the place. But it I, was good in the first two seasons. Then once we got to book three, whatever you want to call it, holy crap. Mm, so pretty much the spirit stuff was a little eh, right? That was like the, yeah, that was like the first the, was mm -hmm. in need. That was yeah, that was like the biggest flop, definitely within the. Core Amon of. was a really good villain. That's yeah, Amon, Am Amon, and um, Zahir. Oh my God, Zahir was Zaheer. so good. Zahir like was so unhinged, but he 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 spoke truth. Yeah, yeah, and he did what everyone wanted wanted the uh, Earth Queen to you know do is uh just just go 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 to sleep. Yeah, just, just go to sleep. He essentially was like. The one who would do the things people want to do, but they know it's like kind of wrong, you know. Yeah. So yeah, and you know he was kind of like, kind of like, all about anarchy and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> that too. All right. So back on to here. Uh, back to here. Back to here. 
Um, he, I mean, he already started to show, they, they kind of like teased because he, yep. you know, remember they were like showing off him training with the monks, right? Or whatever you call them. So you kind of like get to see his moves with his like mask on, like the hat and everything. So that's definitely his like other skin. Um, so he got a bit of a taste of that. But yeah, you know, I mean, it, it, Heihachi's going to be Heihachi, right? He's got the headbutt. Yep. He still has the uppercuts and everything. He'll probably still have like that power bomb and everything. Um, all those other throw animations, you know. Um, on on top of that, with some probably some new moves, hopefully. And then the heat mechanic, yeah, like that could be, you know, yeah, more electrics or maybe. Um, it's electric. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I'm. Mm -hmm. But besides, like seeing the new moves and stuff, mm -hmm. we're probably gonna hear more of the new um, VA. Yes, that, yes, that's taking over. So yes, I I it, already know he's gonna do a, a bad a good job. Yeah, he already is. So yes. I want to mm -hmm. I want to hear the main goal. I want to hear the laugh. I want to hear Hihachi's laugh, and then uh, I just want to hear strikes. You know, like. Each grunts and stuff. Mm -hmm. the, the, yeah, the, the the fighting sounds and the battle <laughs> stuff. Yeah, for sure. But he's, uh, I think he's already doing a, a good job, like, you know, taking up the mantle of Heihachi, you know, after, um, uh, Unsho uh, uh, and, um, uh, Daisuke Gori, you know. Right. Those are the two previous voice actors before they passed. Um, but in any case, we'll look forward to it. Uh, we'll be waiting and, uh, we'll definitely talk about it, um, in the following episode. All right. So, uh, up next, more on fighting games and trailers and such. This is an actual trailer, right? With the launch trailer of, uh, Chaos Reigns for MK1. Uh, so yeah, you get to see more of the story, but, uh, you get to see a little bit more stuff so we'll just let it play out so there's queen melina or empress what's this yeah havoc mm-hmm i mean that's one way to make an entrance yeah Well, that's the thing, Liu Kang. You can never break the cycle of violence. Showing off more of the animalities. Who's the Phoenix? Oh, that's probably Lu uh, Liu Kang. <laughs> yep. No, the Phoenix is uh, Ghostface. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That'd be so weird. He's <laughs> like, is it cut? Why? Is Why? It yeah. <laughs> Such a majestic beast. I mean, I don't know. They fucking made. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, reptiles animality of fucking a uh, uh, Venus flytrap. Oh, I I caught a brief like thing of that. I'm like, what the hell? I know. I was like, I was just staring at like, mm, I guess question mm -hmm. mark. Oh yeah. By the way, this is a repeat of the MK9 fatality with uh, um, Noob Cybot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it was called Wishbone or something. Yes. Like yeah, even down to like the face and everything. Yeah. It's just you just replace them with procs. 
Which I make, I think it makes sense, right? It's it, it just having a, a lovely threesome. That's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, I don't, I mean, do, do you find it like problematic, quote unquote, of repeating some of the fatalities? Repeating or... man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like for this, at least it's not like. I mean, you could argue it's one for one, for one shot, but. Because mm -hmm. they just added the sub, it kind of changes it. But yeah, it's more of a reflection. Yes. Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and then here comes this one. Ghost face fatality. Oh yeah, you heard about people complaining about this one? Uh, hold on. Uh. I'll, I'll, I'll let you watch the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you see it? Can you go, go back a little? Yep, keep going. Keep going. Is it like... Okay. <laughs> Uh, go back to when they both, uh, after they did the initial, like, killing blow. Oh, like they the go. head step? Play. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah, so play, and then I'll tell you when, when to stop. Okay. Nice reference to the first screen. No, keep going. <laughs> okay. Okay, pay attention to from what starts here on out. Okay, so play it slowly. Mm -hmm. All right, they're turning, they're turning. And there it is, kids. What is going on with the hands? Oh, weird. So, so another realm already tweeted out. Yes, they are no, they know about this uh, flaw. It was rush production. Mm. So in the actual, so instead of them doing this in the actual one, they're actually gonna, you know, the other one's gonna actually wipe off the blood from the blade. Oh. So, it, and to which again, it's like these are trailers, people. These are not like the final cuts. Right? Yeah, they're not the final product. Yeah. I didn't even see that. Okay, okay. I, I I mean I mean I saw comments about people with the white the knife wipe thing, but I didn't I didn't think that it was a, there was like a mistake in there. Okay. Yeah, because I saw this on my phone. To be fair, so I you know definitely could not see like you know everything right. Okay, now that's interesting. Uh, they that happened in the trailer. <laughs> But yeah, um, there it is, and we still have Conan and T one thousand to uh, look forward to. Uh, with Ghostface, Ghostface being first of the uh, guest characters, anyway. Um, yeah. So, any other comments for um, MK? Uh Hopefully the story's not con um, super con uh, convoluted. Story. Yes, thank you. Yeah, because <laughs> already like when they were showing like, hey, it's a multiverse and shit. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. it is what it is, you know. Mm. I mean, though, yeah, the whole point of MK1 was to, like, restart, quote-unquote. Mm -hmm. And using, the, you know, the... Or going with the trend of the multiverse thing. So. Stuff like that is bound to be inevitable of some of the writing being convoluted or characters being this or that, you know. Um, you know, I'll I'll watch it through probably through like YouTube 
for this time. Just to check out, kind of check out the story. Because I, I always find Mortal Kombat stories to be entertaining. One, one way or the other. Because they always, they always do like a good job making them feel like they're like movies or um, sort of like Netflix series almost in a way. But in video game form. So I'll check it out. <laughs> put, up, put, um, put my time to seeing him. All right, so moving on forward, Sparking Zero, much anticipated uh, Dragon Ball game that's coming up in October, right? Or early October, I believe. It's revealed to be um, 100 gigs, right, of memory when you install it. Apparently, according to like, uh, yeah, it's some of these cases right here, so. And they're it's still smaller, mm -hmm. smaller than the average um, update of um, COD. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hundred times Big Bang Kamehameha alone is probably two twenty gigs. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you gotta give it like you know the effects and how many characters are there. I mean, it's revealed to be. Over 180, apparently. That's a that's quite a bit. This being a arena fighter, yes, but still, um, with the effects and everything, and the animations being upgraded and all that stuff, with the Unreal Engine and all that stuff. Um, let me see. Oh, one says 65 gigs minimum. The other says, let me see. 100 gigs minimum. I don't know. What's going on with that? What's the labeling here? <laughs> what am I reading? Let me see. Oh, okay. So, um, I think with, um, online, if you want to play this online, it will be 100 gigs minimum. And then if you want to just download the offline stuff, then it will be, um, 65 or something. I, I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on with those two numbers. Me. Sure. I'm not sure why they uh, did it like that. Let's just say it's going to be around 100 gigs, mm. right? Um, which is still smaller than yes, the average update for uh, uh, Call of Duty and such. Which again, I still don't understand how it's always that big. Yeah. For a Call of Duty update. Mm-hmm. They just don't know how to compress their files still. I don't know why. It's like, explain to me like I'm six. Right. Um, but, uh, I, I'm actually kind of like looking forward to it. I do want to like, uh, mess around with it and just like, I don't know, mm -hmm. sit down and play a video game. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, I, I really don't need a story, you know, or anything like that. I just want to sit down and like, just like mess around and look at the animations and just like, Try to unlock the characters if, if there are locked characters, but uh, we'll see. I, I mean, mean it, mm -hmm. it's, it's Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. At yeah. this point, you should know already the basics of you know the story, so you yes. don't really need a story mode. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. But Dragon Ball Z, just jump in, fight, punch, spam Kamehameha, <laughs> beams and teleports and. Apparently, uh, Whis is like broken because Whis can just dodge, um, alter instinct style without draining the meter. So that's already like you know like that broken arena fighter aspect of it showing up for um, sparking zero. <laughs> but to me, it's like well, canon. <laughs> yeah, it it kind of is canon because Whis is supposed to be more powerful than even like Beerus, right? Because yeah. they're angels. Because is the he is an angel and he is the eldest son for um the main angel. Mm, okay. Yeah. There is that. Um. Meanwhile, so we were talking about you know the pop of girls and multiverses, and we we're kind of like commenting like, are these the same voices? 
Uh, apparently, well, at least for bubbles, is Terra strong? So I'm like, huh, really? I guess you can kind of hear the the uh, the age for some of these um, voice actresses. Mm -hmm. So, well, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, I never knew who the voice for Buttercup was, nor Blossom. But yeah, but Bubbles, yes. Terra Strong. Uh, so I'm not you too... Mm. Are, are, are you familiar with these two voice actresses? Catherine... Probably giving me very familiar. Mm. Yeah, I th I think I think they. It sounds like they are the um. Yeah, it's, yeah, they are the original actors for um, the girls. Yeah. 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 Oh wow, they they're back together again. Yeah, they're back together. That's pretty cool. Much much respect to the multiverses team for making it happen. I want to see uh uh Cavadidi or D uh, uh also voiced. Let me see. Oh wow, the old My, My Little Pony movie. Jeez. Um Dinosaur. Oh wow, remember this movie, the Disney Dinosaur movie? Yep, and I remember that stupid ass ride in Disney World. Yeah. I can break my neck. Yeah, she voiced the lemurs apparently. That's interesting. The she voiced, lemurs. Yeah, the phantoms and uh, Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Remember that movie? <laughs> Man, it's, it was a beautiful movie. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um. Oh my God, cats and dogs. That's another glorious movie that they milked for some reason. Um, Zidget. Batman Dark Knight Returns as Joni. She was a news reporter for um, Transformers Age of Distinction. That's another beautiful movie, right? <laughs> it's all these like movies, right? Um, Debbie for uh, Finding Dory. Additional voices for Cars 3. Oh yeah, the, the bunnies for Sing. I feel like this thing, this movie is like not talked about enough. Not that I've like watched I mean, anything. I, I I do like Sing. Mm -hmm. Sing is like a good movie. The only meme I've seen I I I've seen a little constantly, kind of, is the gorilla with the expression. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, well, it's just a gif, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Ford versus Ferrari with additional voices. Okay. So here and there, she kind of had some work. But yes, uh, Blossom for sure. In the uh, TV side of things. Um, Teen Titans. What the heck is his name? <laughs> Something Chrysel is Hunter. Okay. Um, Justice League stuff, including Dr. Mary and Katie. Yeah, a bunch of like random stuff. Video games, let's see. Callie in Final Fantasy X, okay. Um, a bunch of random voices in Final Fantasy stuff, that's crazy. <laughs> and then Seven Remake, she was, oh, she was uh, Jesse's mom, okay. Okay. Who wants to tell her about her about her daughter? Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, she's lost. Yes. <laughs> she's she's just laying down. She's, she's uh yeah she's taking a very long nap. But she made it. She she she's a star. The the golden saucer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can see her now. It's like what? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. She she's a twinkle and some she's a star a uh, twinkling star in somebody's eye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Um, E.G. Daily. That's also someone I'm not. Yeah, too she's the original. Yeah, Buttercup. Yeah. 
not too familiar with her work. Yeah, oh, she no, she's Tommy. oh, she's just Tommy Pickle. That's right. Okay, I'm, I lied. <laughs> she definitely voice. Yeah, I remember her voicing Tommy Pickles from Rugrats. It just it just like hit me. Oh yeah, you can like see all the stuff. Okay, there you go, right here. Chalk yeah, three of them are from uh, Fire Emblem games. You're right. Yes, and Land Before Time. Oh well, two, but yeah. <laughs> uh, is that like the? Is that supposed to be like one of the new characters from Babe or something? I'm not sure what the pig is. Happy Feet, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Um. Well, anyhow, the original voices are back to voice the girl, so that's cool. Glad to see that. Um, lastly, I guess we'll quickly talk about this. This involves with a tournament going on, uh, or a world tour going on with ARC. And, um, apparently there was some stuff going around with, um, one of the U.S. players that was, like, very strong, uh, Tempest NYC. Or just Tempest. Right, I, th I believe Tempest won, um, Guilty Gear Strive EVO, uh, Japan. Right. Um, at least, and, and has won uh, quite a bit of other stuff too, but that's the one I can name off the top of my head. Um, he did have a spot in the World Tour Finals for Guilty Gear Strive, but unfortunately he apparently uh, violated a code of conduct in the official rules. And so his um, points and his spot have been revoked and he will be removed from the rankings according to the statement from um the Twitter account for World Tour Esports. Um that will be transferred to another player uh which has not been named I guess at this point. So what happened was from what I've gathered was that Tempest uh, and, and and Tempest has has had admitted to it. Um I believe he um got drunk, sexually harassed somebody or you know uh, assaulted whatever um and then it just did not come out good right from that whole uh situation and then the victim came out saying that stuff right um i guess was with, with enough evidence or whatever um i'm just assuming and then the uh, tempest came out and admitted that so unfortunate uh circumstances so yeah, sexual harassment allegations. Yeah, so uh, I mean, I mean, who knows if it was alcohol driven or whatever? But yeah, um, obviously not excusable. So you know, uh, well, the world, uh, Arc World Tour, you know, I think pretty much did, you know, by the book, right? They they definitely by, uh, follow the rules, right? Going by the rules, and um, you know, did did, did things accordingly. So. Um, you know, unfortunate, right? Uh, Tempest is a very talented player, but unfortunately did, uh, was not responsible enough, right, for his own actions, right? You, you know, you gotta be careful with drinking or whatever it was, and, um, you definitely have to, like, be careful with the choices you make, right? You know, drinking alcohol is a choice to make, and, um, you have to be prepared for um the consequences right around that you know due diligence all that stuff um any any um comments about this little situation here like i'm all for celebrating you know when you do something great and yeah stuff, like, you know, watch yourself yeah th i think that's what happened right because tempest was like the big top player at least from us for strive right so yeah they probably got uh, a little too happy with the drinking and that's probably what happened like living you know he, he kind of had like that rock star moment right living the rock star life and unfortunately um you know he took it a little too uh too far yeah he went a little yeah he I... celebrated he partied a little too hard <laughs> yes definitely definitely and yeah and then i don't know how it works in tournaments like this when they yeah. you know like okay Tempest has 
accumulated all of this um points and spot, right? Mm-hmm. And then they're just transferring to like another person. Is that other person like somehow like you know like the runner up and mm-hmm. stuff? Like is that why you do the stuff, or is it like maybe it's like a crowd favorite, but he didn't they didn't make it to the top? Like that's the part that I I always wonder how do you transfer points? Yeah, I think it's whoever like, doesn't. What is it based mm-hmm. based on? The, right. Or yeah, you know, what are the not regulations, but what you know? What are the check marks? I think it's whoever has the highest points that that does not have a spot in the uh, World Tour Finals. Maybe that's what I'm assuming. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming anyway. But it's definitely like sort of like the the highest runner up that doesn't have a spot. It's not like, oh yeah, you know, we'll pick this guy because we like him or something. You know, I don't, I don't think that's how it works. You know, so um, I mean, this this is why some of us ask these questions, and maybe one knows and the other one doesn't. You know, yeah, answer. yeah, 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 yeah. No, for sure, for sure. Back into the last one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they were on damn sale. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Each bag was like two fifty each. Fucking, I'll, I'll fucking grab them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would have grab. I would have bought in the entire box, but then I remembered. No, you spent you spent eighty dollars on magic cards yesterday. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, um, that is all for right now for fighting games. Uh, for this episode. Now we can uh, head on over to the frontline side of things. Let's go hit this. Uh, where is it? 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 Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Stop talking, Yogi. <laughs> you you, you want to go grab it? <laughs> you want to go grab it? I'm eating it right now. Oh, you're eating it right now. Okay. It was only three balls. I was able to shove two in my mouth. <laughs> next, next. <laughs> well, uh, somebody's balls will be in their mouth because it's uh, involving with the case of Power World and versus Pokemon, right? Because you know, speaking of balls, right? Because Pokeballs and stuff. Um, yes. So previously, yeah, po- uh, Pokemon was, well, Pokemon slash Nintendo was considering suing. Um, pow, uh, oh, well, the uh, developers of Power World, right, which is, I believe, Pocket Pair, um, all based <laughs> all based in Japan, and this yep. is a little different because this is uh, a patent infringement, not so much a copyright infringement. So people kind of like think, oh, it's because of the Pokemon designs. No, not so much. Um, no. as much as there, yes, there are similar uh, striking similarities with some of the Pokemon. Yes, but it's still subjective as much as we could talk about that but there are actual quote-unquote infringements according to some patents here right um so i didn't even know that you could even patent certain like specific things uh when it comes to gameplay gameplay mechanics so in this case um from what i've like gathered is the exact like process of um you know, throwing the ball at a monster and then, you know, even down to like the three pips or whatever. And then there's like the algorithm yeah. and all that stuff. That's all patented by Pokemon. The thing th- with that, though, is funny because that, w- that was patented long after the game came out of, of uh, Power World. Because I believe yeah. that was like May. Like that was pan- actually patented in May and such. So that does say something, right? About what, you know, Pokemon slash Nintendo has been doing, right? Um, and yeah, so they're um, seeking, um, uh, you know, a compensation and stuff like that for damages, quote unquote, that I guess Power World has caused because they um, infringed those pen, those pen rights or whatever you call it. Um, yeah, to like protect the intellectual property, blah blah blah. Like, okay, whatever. Um, okay, I mean, like, 
you could say that to be fair that yes power world did kind of deliberately like copied pokemon to um you know uh there's context to it right because it's, it's almost like not making fun of it or mocking it it's just like kind of like um uh like it's technically a parody right but you yeah. know if it's down to like the very same mechanics when it comes to catching the monsters in power world then it's like mm, right um that could get a little hairy you know so I, I don't know what do you what do you make of that um for this uh situation i mean i know there's like for certain game companies there are certain mechanics that is you know their own and some try to either copy it or you know try and make it their own but ultimately it's like if you already seen how some one mechanic look like and something else is gonna you know do the same thing but try and change it you're immediately gonna be like hey that looks like this you know mm -hmm. but again it's like if we're going to go with that route a lot of people are going like oh then freaking uh what was it uh Dragon Quest would have, would be doing the same thing with um, Final Fantasy and their summons and um, mm -hmm. their uh, their kit, you know, their mechanics and stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. But, but I also find it more funny is like, okay, Nintendo and uh, the uh, and the Pokemon Company. Yes. They they try to do the whole uh, copyright thing first half. Didn't go anywhere, you know. There wasn't enough like concrete um, stuff Ever to go and, or yeah, yeah, to pursue it. Mm -hmm. So that was the bus already. So here's Power World, Gain gaining traction, money, and stuff. And then I guess because you know, money, money's the thing that makes everyone like makes their ears perk up. Mm -hmm popularity oh. yeah oh our world has money now like more money let's try let's go for round two everyone what can we try to uh you know fling at fling at the wall mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the big thing too to uh add on to that was that um our world was being considered to be purchased or whatever uh by, or, or at least partnered with by sony and that was yeah. definitely like, you know, like you kind of like saying, like perking up the ears for Nintendo slash Pokemon company. So that is, I I feel like that's definitely why they're doing this, you know, try to like sort of like slow them down as much as possible, if not eliminate them, you know, just try to like take away the money or whatever it is, try to drain them of like, you know, the, the what do you call it? attorney fees and all that stuff, court fees, that stuff as much as possible even if they don't win the case here but who is to say um of who's going to win or if nintendo is going to win or not um i mean personally of course i mean you know as, as a nintendo fan and such right um <laughs> uh, i actually don't wish for this to um for to be uh in nintendo's favor because it definitely sets up an unhealthy precedent, right? It's like, hey, that's my game mechanic. Hey, this is my thing. You know, like, kind of like, um, almost like setting up a monopoly here. And so, um, who knows of what could come out of this if they do win? Because it eliminates competition and it, it, it eliminates uh, in a, any possible innovation, right? Or improvements to those game mechanics and ideas and such um do you do, do, do you uh uh feel that is the case do you agree or is there anything else you wanted to um throw in there well at this point it's like more of like can we just see what the court case is gonna be if there's gonna be a case if there is going to be yes yeah <laughs> and also i i kind of want to have have it be done by the same judge and they're just gonna be like 
oh great mm -hmm. you two again what now right you know like that disappointed parent going mm -hmm. like what? what now what did you do or or the teacher right you know seeing the two kids constantly like fighting or whatever <laughs> arguing or whatever oh that kind of like reminded me of um professor mcgonagall <laughs> oh yeah why is it like every time there's something bad happens it's always you three mm -hmm. yeah he's <laughs> like hi mm -hmm. yeah um maybe i mean i there i guess there is some things about power power world that uh maybe they took a smidge too far kind of or they're like really like you know reaching over that over that fence for pokemon stuff but um especially with the designs but that's still like you know a gray area slash like it's very subjective you know what i mean um but yeah the patent thing is like man it's um kind of not uh it's 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 definitely discomforting you know because of everything else i said like who knows what precedent it could this could bring um there's already another patent right that's um involving with the game mechanic and that's the uh then you know people ha have been using this to sort of add on to the conversation which is um uh what was it lord of the rings shadow of mordor i believe um and wb or whoever um patented the uh, nemesis system or whatever you call it where mm -hmm. yes um where you can like essentially like tame quote unquote like the go goblins or orcs or whatever right the um the enemy and such like that those exact mechanics um cannot be borrowed or replicated or whatever you know uh, by other games it would be cool if other games could do that potentially right but oh sorry you know that's wb shit apparently now if companies are like um friendly about it then that's i guess that's fine but the fact that they can just possibly like be like no this is mine yeah <laughs> mine all mine yeah it, pretty much that's uh that's not a not a good look for nintendo either way and and uh pokemon company you know now is that going to change anything about, you know, like, oh, the Switch, whatever the next Switch is, you know, are people going to buy that console? Yes, absolutely. Right. Um, I don't think they care that much about Power World, but who knows? Um, I guess it really depends on how they handle it. Right. And who knows what they'll do also next. Right. Um, are they going to like, you know, and the fucking Mario mechanics. I don't know. Like the, it's, it's um, definitely like yeah, not not a good feeling. Very discomforting to like kind of think about that stuff as someone who always is interested in innovation and seeing new things and different takes and you know <laughs> um their interpretation all that stuff and it's just you know it, it definitely hinders the creativity within yep. the, um, the scope of video games so that's why this whole this pen pen infringement lawsuit is definitely like not a good look um more ways than one so again i hope they uh i hope this case gets thrown out nintendo slash pokemon loses or whatever or doesn't get their yeah. what they're looking for um yeah so um because well not that i've played power world but yeah i think it definitely is pretty one-to-one -one when it comes to catching the monsters so i'm i'm not sure right if they'll be able to get get away with that i i'm not sure but so um we'll see we'll definitely see um about that but not before um checking out other stuff uh, i've got to like bring up other tabs and stuff or um other points and stuff like that so power world it ha made a statement that they, yes they are yeah aware that they are being sued but um according to at least they, here here anyway they 
they don't know the specific patents they're they're being accused upon which that's kind of weird because uh, you would think that like N nintendo slash whatever uh, pokemon would tell them like hey this is the exact thing or reason we're suing you for it's not like yeah. i can't imagine them just being like hey we're suing you for patent infringement oh okay right wouldn't they have to be more specific i don't know it's kind of weird that sounds kind of kind of strange so i'm a little hmm about that but yes that doesn't change the fact that they are being sued that's unfortunate um and hopefully, again, hopefully, um, this hopefully the case gets thrown out. You know, I'm, and yeah, in, in my little mind, I kind of want to see like, I mean, I know it's a waste; it's going to be a waste of money, but I kind of want to see the judge just humor uh, Nintendo and um, the Pokemon Company, and and then you know, like when it gets to that. A little too not really far into it but kind of like it's still like in the early stages of the case <laughs> the judge just going like you know i would no <laughs> mm -hmm. it's like we're just gonna put a stop here okay thanks <laughs> thanks bye so basically stringing them along until yeah they feel like all right we're done i'm over it <laughs> yeah yeah i i get what you're saying but yeah no that uh, that also is a waste of uh pocket pairs time so you know time is money um was there anything else i wanted to find that image the exact image of um the patent let me see um pokemon patent yeah so this is some of the images right of what the patent shows image wise obviously there's like text to it you know to specify what exactly blah 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 but like um Yeah, you can kind of, it's funny because you can you can like see like dinosaurs and this person right here and like the um the menu and such. Oh yeah, and then you, you have to like tire out the monster to um increase your chances, right, to catch the monster such like that. Um yeah, and then the throwing mechanism and like the aiming and all that stuff. Very very they're very being very specific, I guess about this whole pen thing down to like yes the pokeball the pokeball itself i can i i can definitely understand right like that because yeah. that is a trademark of sorts but but the actual like process of it it's like hmm right i'm i'm a little um soured by that because it's basically you're kind of like pen panting um a basic human uh activity kind of like it's almost it's almost like you're panting um hunting like or trapping uh monsters you know you uh uh what do you call those like um uh bolos or whatever you, you like you can like throw um it's like it's like, it's like basically like you know like the rope with the two two weights you can throw it at like um like an animal's legs and then they like tie it up and like they, you know and then they like it you know it, it hinders their movement, right? It's almost like that, but you know, but that, but just swap that, swap that with a ball. You know what I mean? So it's almost like they're just yep. panting the the basic human um sort of activity, right? So you could say like if you want to be or or take that same logic and and pan like um humans driving or something. Oh, you know, like imagine. Gran Turismo, like, oh, you can't, you can't take the, um, uh, our mechanic was just driving precisely or whatever, right? Or, or, or um, uh, Kart being like, hey, you can't, you can't take the item mechanic or whatever, right? Because, because, 
look at how many how many fucking kart racing games are there, right? With uh, yep. Crash Team Racing, the Sega, what do you call uh, All Stars Racing? What do you call that? Yeah, shit? The Sega, the, mm-hmm. the Disney one. That's mm-hmm. kind of like, and they all have the similar the yeah. similar uh, mechanics of like how to get your um your power ups. The power ups or items, yeah, right. So it's like, <sighs> right. So when you start to really break it down like that, then it's like, hmm, that really sours my yeah. sort of taste buds, I guess you could say, for, for Pokemon. It's like, bro. <laughs> Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, like, what would happen if it wasn't a a sphere shape? What if they use a, a cube? Okay, yeah, right. Like, <laughs> I know. Then no. what? Then what? what? What is what is your case now? Mm-hmm. Or like, <laughs> um, when when you're about to catch the monster, like, is it? Oh, what if they add one more pip, right? You know, like you know the boom, boom. You know, you know the little, uh, the blinking lights. Remember? And then, oh, what if they just add four instead of or two instead of the three or whatever you call it, right? I forget the exact uh, sp- sp- specific amount, but. Yeah. And then it's like also um you know, what about the RPG mechanics that Pokemon has? Isn't that like similar to other RPG games, you know? Like the whole weakness thing and like, you know. I don't think that's that that's anything unique or specific, so same same with here, even though yes, Pokemon does popularize the whole catching thing. But I don't think they should have like the right to um, patent it, right? Because again, that's 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 taking from what we did as humans back in the day, especially you know hunting or trapping animals to you know survive and shit. But take that for you know the con in the context of um, you know making that monster yours, right? To tame them and and have them fight and such. You know, and that's another thing, right? It's like, it's like, what about the whole aspect of human and monster companions fighting together? Like, is that, is that going to be panted too? So like, oh, so even Digimon can't do that because that's very much about the companionship between humans and, and Digimon and shit, you know, what's next if the, if, if they do win the case. Oh, you can't do gym badges. Oh, you can't do fucking gyms in in, uh, yep. in general, you know. That's yeah. That's why I'm like, uh, no, I don't want them to win. Even if I am a Pokemon fan or whatever, Nintendo fan as well. I mean, maybe it is all just an excuse for um, how old to lose money because. Pokemon was kind of like, uh, you know, has like a such a big ego or whatever. Like, oh, they're going to get some sort of deal from Sony or some shit. Yeah. Like, we don't want the, we don't want the, a potential competition with Pokemon. Even though, well, there has been potential competition with Pokemon over the years with um, Yokai Watch. We got Digimon, you know, yep. other games that use those similar mechanics to you know tame these things and such yeah even even um you know tales of symphonia did that with uh, dawn of the new yep. world you tame monsters they actually fight for you which was one of kind of like the the downsides of it because like you didn't really get to play as the tales characters from especially from symphonia but more it was but there was more emphasis on emphasis on the monsters right so it's like mm, you know a trade-off right if you will but Anyway, the 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 taming thing, you know, it's like that 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 should not be something exclusive for one thing because that's a, that that's what that's essentially creating a monopoly, right? Okay, so the, I mean, yeah, as much as I do, uh, I have been bagging on Pokemon. Um, that's all right. As doing this, oh, yeah. <laughs> did this right? I wanted to show this meme. No, no. 
good movie, by the way. Yeah, I, mean, I like this movie, yeah. Which, this was one of the movies that people discover. It's like, yeah, he can sing. He's like, mm -hmm. like he's David. <laughs> I mean, for like Disney villain deaths, this is kind of more of the darker ones. Cause it, yeah. <laughs> he, he, you're essentially seeing him being dragged to hell. Yeah, pretty much. Or the, yeah, the underworld well, or hell. Uh, yeah. uh, whatever the equivalent for um, voodoo is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The underworld slash hell slash whatever. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, but basically, you know, Princess and the Frog, Dr. F Fossier. It's taken away Fossilia. to the Fossilier, yeah. It gets taken away. So basically, yeah, it says the caption is live footage of Power World devs as we speak. So it's like, oh man. <laughs> yeah. It is funny, but yeah, the, the the actual situation is um yeah. Leaves that sour taste in your mouth. Or right or bitter, you know, depending on how you look at it. But yeah. Yeah. Again, um, I don't want them to win. I don't want Nintendo slash Pokemon to win. That's really all, all we can hope for, really. Alrighty. Um, that being done. Uh, a little more on the rough news, in a way. So, Dr. Disrespect, yes. You know, who had, who had, who had admitted to the, uh, you know, talking to <laughs> my to a minor inappropriately at least mm -hmm. on twitch through twitch, twitch whispers apparently is uh has been streaming on youtube right and i don't know if he's back to monetization or not but whatever um despite the whole controversy he still is number two as a streamer on youtube because yeah he's not he's he's only um demonetized but he's not banned on youtube so he can stream on youtube and probably using something like uh patreon or some sort of donation button for his funds and such um but anyway he's still number two so the two-time quote-unquote two-time champion is still at it and is still in the charts um unfortunately to many people right as much as um i would have liked to see him like actually sort of like facing the consequences or whatever or just like you know man up and you know like just take it for what it is but that whole like oh i i only pretended or oh i only mentioned minor yeah. for uh the journalists to blah 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 or whatever it's, oh man i don't know man it's like mm -hmm. it's like you just want to get like a sewing needle and just go yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah sew that mouth shut <laughs> Oh man! With yeah. no, um, with no, uh, what's it called? Aesthetics, uh, well, whatever. We're not numbing him. It's just like we're just, yeah. on, just... <laughs> no uh, <laughs> anesthesia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it hurts. That's that's the point. Yeah, that's the point. Go natural, man. Right. <laughs> It's supposed to be, um, you know, all manly and shit, but when it comes to it, can I help you? When it comes to it, he just kind of like s tries to snakes his way out of the situation somehow. Yep. Yeah, that whole thing is just weird, man. It's like, why, why, like do this I'm so I'm still confused but anywho I guess he's still number two so I guess that says something all right so quickly we're going to talk about the Emmy Award stuff um so yeah uh nominations included uh Fallout you know the TV series Fallout, 
yeah. and uh, Shogun. And Shogun. And Shogun yes. I need to watch Shogun. Same. I do love my, my Japanese um, period pieces. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now, if... do I want to say saying that? Do I want to say the last samurai is a good <laughs> representation of that of that Japanese period? I. It's a representation. Representation, <laughs> but it's not. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, it's talking about Shogun, right? Uh, they actually won quite a bit of awards, including best drama series, um. Uh, Sanada san being the best lead actor, right? Hiroki Sanada. So. Mm -hmm. And then um, Anna Sa uh, Sawai uh, also winning as a lead actress, right? For Shogun. Um, directing, Which right? Which is Toye. weird. Because mm -hmm. from what I've heard, I mean, I I don't know if you watched it yet, the, um, the Monarch um uh apple oh yeah yeah apple uh, series. i watched the whole thing we we talked okay. about it. yeah uh like you you've seen how i, I get it's not her fault it's the direction but you mm -hmm. know she could have boast boosted it up her character yes it's night and day from what people are saying is like in shogun she is phenomenal but mm. when you look at monarch it's like that's that's her <laughs> yeah it's probably yeah like the material you work with yeah i don't know probably could do only so much with it and, and plus the whole like time jump shit was not yeah it was not uh, executed well <laughs> like it should have been to me because it was like what eight eight episodes nine something eight ish like that. yeah like the first, like the first five should have been the past. The pa yes. And then, yeah. Yeah. or in, in, in my head, my head canon, every episode should just be mainly the past, but every, like maybe the last 20 to 10 minutes, it's like the aftermath mm -hmm. of like, yeah, what are the like, consequences okay, they, or what's the outcome? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, okay, they, I forget which episode number they they finally form monarch mm -hmm. in the past now and they doing all those there's sub now the last 10 to 20 the last 20 to 10 minutes of that episode should be like the f you know the what became a monarch you know you pull like um past footage of the other you know monsterverse yeah. movies going yeah. like you see like Sarazawa walking, you know, not showing his face, but you hear, you see a person pass by and it's mm -hmm. someone's going like Dr. Sarazawa. And it's like, oh, so this is where it's leading to. Mm -hmm. And then you show the kids. Mm -hmm. But no, I will focus on the kids. And it's like, mm -hmm. it's like, can we just go to the past? <laughs> yeah. We got to get back, back to the past. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, the, 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 the Russells were, were great. I mean, yeah, both Russells, Russells were man. Really good. They're really good. You know? I still, I still find it funny, but I hate... Like, okay, uh, as a Godzilla fan. Mm. And when I say fan, I'm stretching that, that word out because <laughs> I am a fan of Godzilla because of other reasons. But... Yeah. <laughs> when that scene of Godzilla coming out of the water and looking at the... um. The warhead, mm -hmm. the bomb. He's like, "Wow, explosion!" I'm like, "You guys are assholes!" <laughs> like, he's like, "You're assholes." <laughs> he thought you were giving like like a prison, like mm -hmm. like like uh, a fucking offering, like mm -hmm. you because you know he's he's a fucking like ancient lizard that mm -hmm. probably that's what he thought because yeah. humans used to do that, mm -hmm. like offer him something. Yes. So, and you could see it in his in his face. He's like. Wow, these guys remember the old wit. <laughs> and I kind of want to see like that cartoon after effect of him like, like burnt. Yeah, or, like the, the, yeah, the and covered, He's like the black like, soot, and then like the eyes are just like really clear. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> you motherfuckers. <laughs> he's like, yeah, that's why, and that is why Godzilla is pissed. <laughs> oh man. That would have been a, mu a, a much more entertaining um, 
Um, it'll be it'll have been stupid, but it'll be like yeah. you know uh, the, the show is stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a giant monster. Like, what do you expect? A uh, big monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So, um, quite a bit of awards right. for uh, Shogun. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, Fallout. Which, though... which again? Oh, okay, wait, 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 go ahead. Which again, everybody? With Shogun, yeah. Not everything has to be catered to um English speaking audience. There's actually good, good native language shows out there. Mm -hmm. Like your Korean dramas does not need an American adaptation. I'm sorry, some actors that you will find to kind of like. Americanize those dramas or movies. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna have the same effect. Yeah, as you know, from from the homeland of wherever it was made. Yeah, the origin, right? Yeah, because I, I cannot truly see a good adaptation of Train to Busan. Mm -hmm. I cannot see a good English adaptation. Mm -hmm. There are some gems. Like the Ring, you know, the Ringu series. Mm -hmm. There are some gems, but when it comes to horror, Japanese horror, you stay with Japanese horror because it's more psychological than, mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, like slasher horror, body horror. And that's what I like because to me, you know, psychological horror and, and supernatural horror really fucks up your mind. More than like, oh no, my arm got cut off. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm running away from the killer, and somehow on flat piece of land, I somehow be able to trip over a tree stump. It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is why I think like, um, movies like The Thing kind of did that perfectly because um it does combine the gore but the also like the psychological and like the fucked up aspects of it right because yeah you don't know which one is the thing and then so it kind of it becomes like you know like a search of or the, the game of like okay you know who you know um who's the murderer right kind of thing yeah, I mean, like with the thing is like who's the alien? Mm -hmm. They stopped at the, the that question, you know, like you want to take a drink, and they're oh, yeah. just staring at each other. Mm hmm. Yeah. No, there's a lot of like myst mystery that um, comes after the movie too. It's like what happens, right? Yeah. That's that's also like the things I kind of do miss with with a lot of movies, which. Yeah, I know. Um, they're always like very safe or pretty straightforward, you know, kind of not add any mystery to them. It's just like, you know, oh, happy ending or oh, this happens and then, oh, close up the chapter or whatever, you know. But, you know, all those older movies, they always do that. Like, they kind of always like kind of leave you thinking and such. And those are the, those are the things I, I kind of do miss for sure. Um, but yeah, anyway, good job, uh, Shogun, right? The crew of Shogun. Yep. And uh, a lot of nominations, though, for uh, Fallout. So, yeah, that's awesome to see Fallout and Shogun, you know, shows like that being nominated together and such. You know, it really, it's good and to see. And from what I read, um, like, both sides were, like, actually, like, congratulating each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's actually good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Fallout, you know, only got mentions and they didn't, you know, win, but they they, they had like a good sportsmanship. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that and that's that's the thing nowadays with these um, award shows. Like, you don't show they don't like to show the sportsmanship from yeah the the rest of the week. I mean, yes, you you see the slips up the slip ups from like. Okay, let's say this this show won when it should have been, and you just see all the other people going like have like the pissed off face, and or they're just like, oh, with like Kanye, like, you know, yeah, Kanye with yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift. Remember that shit? I remember it was the, 
it was like the early 2000s country music award um mm. it had all like the biggest like names at the moment like shanara twain faith hill uh, something like that mm. but it was just it was just funny to watch him i th- I think it was Shania, T- it was either Faith Hale or Shania Twain. Like, she thought, like, she was, like, getting all glamorized. Like, I got this in the bag. It was Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood won, and then you just see, I think it was Shania Twain, just freak out, going, like, to the camera. Like, oh she forgot God. the camera was on her. And she was like, <laughs> she just storms off. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh. Yeah, I remember, um... Bruno Mars was kind of like that too at the Grammys. Um, like it, it was, it was some. I forgot who won, but like I remember his face. Like I don't know why, but I I just saw looked over to that his camera, and then I just saw him and just uh when he didn't win, he's like fuck whatever. It's like shit. <laughs> like I remember like doing him doing like that and like you know saying whatever like fuck or whatever. Like it was so funny. It was oh, so yeah. salty. <laughs> it was a, it was fake though. Oh, is it? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Like Faith Hill did though. Like you're welcome. And she just had the little freak out, and I was like, Oh my god! It's like you just went like, damn, get fucked, man. Shit. But oh. um. But again, we I can't say much for Shogun. I only saw clips. Yeah, but it really looks good, and yes. I think it's done right. Like Shogun, it's, it's been, done, done, it's, right? it's been done. Yes, yeah. So I'll I'll definitely try to see like if I can find the time to like. Okay. Yeah, watch so it. it's it's on Hulu. Um, mm-hmm. There's only ten episodes, but yeah. they're like an hour each. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it, there there is that comparison with Game of Thrones, but with samurai or whatever that sort of stuff. But whatever, um, I'll try to get around to um, watching it. Cause I heard good. I heard I heard, no, I heard nothing but good things about it. Yeah. Like I think, if I remember or recall correctly, uh, it's the family that the uh, like the actual family that. Shogun's base off of. They gave the blessings to the show. Mm. I was like, that is really good high honor. Like to have the actual family that you're basing the show on. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. But but again, it's like, let's watch it. <laughs> yeah. Is it yeah. gonna be is it gonna be better than the last samurai? We'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> you don't you don't mess with Tom Cruise. <laughs> you don't mess with um, you know the whole uh, fucking that uh, hand cranking mini g- Gatling gun thing. <laughs> you don't fuck with the pine I mean, trees. I... There's no pine trees in Japan, but <laughs> I remember yeah, when when I saw that in theaters because I was with I was um. At the time, we were, um, uh, it was our Japan club, and you know, mm. we had like, uh, not transfers, but visit, you know, visiting, um, oh, students yeah, yeah. from, yes, from yeah. Japan. And we watched, we went to watch, uh, The Last Samurai. And, mm-hmm. and at the time, I, I know a little bit Japanese, but, and they knew a little bit English. They knew it, yeah. And they were like, what is pine tree here? I was like, <laughs> like yeah, why is why is this here? I remember people were pointing out the pine trees. I'm like, yeah, like what the fuck are the pine trees there for? <laughs> oh my god! Unless there was a pine tree demon in the feudal era, just just spreading seeds. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. With the Gatling gun, I was like, okay, so. Yes, this thing was made back then. And then yeah. my weeb weeb ass went straight to uh, Rurouni Kenshin because you know they had a fucking Gatling. I forget which arc. I want to say the Kyoto arc. No, uh, it wasn't Kyoto arc. It was actually the first arc. Oh, was it? Was it? The mansion. Oh, the, yeah, mansion. the mansion. Yeah, that's right. Because that's where they revealed it, and they were shooting it. Yeah, you know, through 
and stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, hi, kids. You want to watch a good um, anime? Watch Rurouni Kenshin. But yeah. if you want to watch it correctly, you watch Samurai X. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And don't get attached to any of those characters of Samurai X. They. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> night and day. Night and day between Rurouni Kenshin and Samurai X. Night and day. Mm-hmm. All right. Except for, except for the new Veroni Kenshin, the one that's out right now, it's actually more Samurai X, but in the f- in the storytelling and in the animation of Veroni Kenshin. Mm. So it's like it's like it's it's true to Samurai X, but because it's animated like Veroni Kenshin, it throws you off. Yeah, because it's colorful. That's mm. why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can say one thing, man. They got they got Cho, um, Sword Hunter Cho's colors right. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. They got his colors right. Our tube TVs couldn't handle the true colors. <laughs> man, I I remember Cho's colors were so different in the older anime. I'm like, I'm like, what, what? <laughs> it was so wildly different because he was supposed to be like black and yellow right uh, with yep. this outfit but it's like purple and red or something <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> they wanted it to pop i i yeah i don't know man maybe they just didn't have it in Weirdly their, in their crayon in their crayon box or something <laughs> <laughs> i don't know fuck. Yeah. <laughs> all right let's let's uh get a move on here so um X slash Twitter, right? Owned by Elon Musk at the moment. Ooh. But um there's somebody who wants to maybe consider buying it off of him, and that is Mark Cuban. If anyone does not remember him, he is from uh, I believe Sharks, right? Um T V T V program with um investors buying or investing into some products. Right. The Shark Tank, right? And yeah. um uh, I remember um Mark Cuban was always like up there for me. He's like one of my favorite ones, if not the favorite one. So hey, I mean, if that can happen, man, I I think um, uh, hopefully that could mean for it to revert back to what it was, maybe potentially. Um, yeah. It's funny because um, back then, when Musk bought it, it was forty-four billion. But according to like a number of people or sources, I should say, um, the sort of value, I guess, has dropped. So who knows how much he'll be able to buy it for? A dollar. Yeah. Right. Um. But yeah, I think for the most part, maybe it's more of a more on the no because of what you know Elon Musk wants to do with it, right? But we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe he, maybe Mark Cuban can make an offer he can't refuse or something. We'll see. <laughs> but hey, I mean, the idea of someone like him buying X would be great. Get him off the fucking platform, man. Pretty much. It'd be so funny if he buys the platform and he the first thing he does is take away the um what you call the the stupid um blue check marks. Oh my yes. He takes away that and then he just turns on like you are able to edit now. Mm-hmm. And like oh, just the, just bur- the the X goes back to the bird and everything. Like everything rever- reverts back to like what it's supposed yeah. to be or what it was before he bought that. Sh- or Musk bought that shit. You know. All right. Next, uh, last one for the front line, I guess, is the PS PlayStation Six. There's a- there has been talks ever since the Pro was first um, unveiled saying um amd will continue to be with um playstation so they will be making the chips and stuff like that 
TSMC will manufacture the PS PlayStation 6, which I'm assuming could be the previous one or whatever they've been working with. Um, it will be designed with the x86 architecture. Um, and then the PlayStation 6 will be the first console to be natively backwards compatible with two play, uh, pre uh, previous two PlayStation consoles since the PlayStation 3. Okay. Um, yes, backwards compatibility, compatibility. You heard that right. So hopefully that is the case. Where's my X button? Right. Doubt. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean, you know, don't take them too seriously, but yeah. Or it's more of, um, what was it? The Leonardo DiCaprio, um, basically like, mm -hmm. from, I think it was, uh, Inception, but yeah, no, as much as I want backwards compatibility, I think it's too, it's not too late, but it's kind of late in the game now. Mm -hmm. like, like if they really, if PlayStation really wants me to be impressed with backwards compatibility, don't go back to generations. Go all the way back to PS1. And mm -hmm. if we still have the fucking disc, let me use it. Yeah, yeah, that would be uh, the ideal sort of dream, but I don't think they'll take it that far, unfortunately. Meanwhile, That's why I'll, mm -hmm. I'll just play on my PC and cry. Yeah, that I can never because again, I, my PS3 is, is, is in storage, mm -hmm. so I cannot play those PS3 games unless I go to the storage and like dig through like whatever box to just pull it out. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll hear the jet the jet um engines. Mm-hmm. So meanwhile, uh Digital Foundry actually was um uh, able to um do like a big breakdown on like the differences of performance between the PS5 and the PS5 Pro with this wonderful tool, right? Um, you can see these by the, side by side with uh, all these screenshots of what things look like. So on the left, very left, uh, that's the uh, performance mode for uh, PlayStation 5, right? Um, and in the middle is the graphics mode for PlayStation 5. And in the very right is the PlayStation 5 Pro with 60 frames per second stu and stuff. Obviously, yes. There, there are sharper images on the pro side of things, but you know, and, and the fact that yes, it will be moving at sixty frames per second and such, you know. Um, same thing here, right? The background is very sharp on the very right side. That's the pro side, you know. But then you get to here, right? And it's like when it comes to the close up of Red's face. It's so it's it's like yeah okay obviously it's it's sharper here but it's like are you really going to pay plus seven hundred plus dollars you know what I mean oh here it comes Zawa with the the pip the the red red plushy thing <laughs> you see this shit mm -hmm. <laughs> this it, has more detail than that. <laughs> <All right. laughs> It's so funny that they picked red of all characters to, you know, show off the detail because, yeah, probably the fur. But, yeah. Um, I mean, they could have done what? Kate Sith, the Moogle. Yeah. Mm hmm. Look it's at my baby boy. Yeah. Just, but it's not, but you can't really, yeah. Besides, yeah, besides the 60 frames part, it's like. Okay, it's sharper, but it's not like it's revolutionizing how, you know, red is looking. It's just making him a like little sharper. Like if they, mm -hmm. yeah. And again, this these are still shots. Right. I want to see it actually in motion. Like, is each hair follicle, like, flowing? You yeah. know? But, you know, then again, it's like, are you really going to shell out um, 700 plus dollars just to 
be able to play Final Fantasy at 60 frames per second with sharper image and such for, you know, for that one game. You know what I mean? Can I go back to Tifa? Why is it that the middle graphics mode looks better? Because it has the, the shadowing is a bit better on the clothing. Um, hmm. Shadow on the clothing. Well, I don't know. Yeah. But again, I... to shell out like $700 on the Pro, it, it's not for me. Yeah, definitely not. I, I said it before in last last week's stuff and from um, my tweet. I'd rather fucking either go back to Vegas or just build a brand new damn um, rig. Exactly. So that, just laugh, laugh yeah. my ass off going like, you could have bought a PS5 Pro. I was like, yeah, but I made a fucking rig. Yeah, for me, um, I kind of want to get a new phone because it's been like four generations that I skipped, so I can definitely get more use of, of that than a fucking. Yeah, and you're user. you're um Apple, right? iPhone. Yeah, I, I'm an iPhone user. Yeah. Surprised they didn't flip the switch yet. <laughs> you know, like that whole that whole um was it? Not joke, but like once once like the old generation is like outdated just flip the switch and go like okay cannot use anymore i know yeah yeah people, people but see now that you said, yeah now that you said that they go like fight fight out what hawk go five to five's a uh, serial number on his phone turn, no, it, turn it off now. <laughs> shut, <laughs> oh, shut down <laughs> you, you just hear siri access denied yeah he says access <laughs> denied <laughs> Please upgrade to a to a to one of our new um iPhones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please upgrade to the new iPhone 16. <laughs> uh, you will have a one hundred one hundred dollar trade in um credit <laughs> credit to be placed towards your new iPhone. Oh my Thank god. You. That's pretty much like um, probably how much I'm gonna get out of my phone <laughs> if That's I were insane. to trade it. In. Oh man! At that point, I'd rather just keep it for like an actual <laughs> camera, you know, an actual dedicated camera. Keep it, or just use it as like, like if someone's coming towards you, and you know, God forbid they have a knife or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chuck them. A throwable fucking weapon. <laughs> I mean, if you wanted a, a throwable weapon, you fucking um, make sure you have a Nokia. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the brick, little, little, little tiny brick. Yeah, yeah. You whip that out. Ooh, he has a weapon. Mm -hmm, like... mm -hmm. Or get the chocolate man. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not not every one of us has has an arm like you know. Like them old ladies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You all, you do not mess with the old ladies. Just like I'm not gonna mess He's with. Down the yeah, I'm not gonna mess with the P PS5 Pro, man. This is not worth. <laughs> I mean, let let's say if we like, you know, if we did those, you know, on Twitter or Twitch or at at events, like you know, put your name in, and, you know, win win a PS5 Pro. Mm hmm. I'm just gonna if I did win one, I'll be like I would just call my friend, but like Are you still need a PS5? <laughs> here. Fucking <laughs> here. Like, yeah. You don't want the pro? No. Oh, by the way, do you have two two hundred dollars extra? Why? You need to buy the stand and the disc drive if mm -hmm. you want the disc. Have fun. <laughs> no, yeah, <right. laughs> That's the thing, right? Because it doesn't come with the disc drive nor the stand. It's like what the fuck? Oh. I mean, yes, you can play the thing horizontal, whatever, right? But the fact that they don't e yeah. even include, like, the basic part that, yeah, the PS5 base, or whatever you call it, want to call it, vanilla, yeah, came with, it's just, it's a fucking stand. Like, what are you going to charge, like, what, 30 plus dollars for that shit for? Like, <laughs> why? It's so dumb. 
right all that all that for this like okay yes it's moving it's going to be moving 60 frames per second but again are you really going to shell out that much money when you can save that money and then like wait a little further in time and get yourself an actual pc to start to have you start with right you know invest into a pc or hell like there are other better purchases than this right it's like are you really going to buy that kind of a console for just like what maybe two or a couple of games that will benefit from it because not all of them are going to actually take advantage of the ps5 pro um hardware because they can they have to like have devs to um, actually work on it work on the game again uh, for a little bit and then put out the update and then have it compatible to utilize the power of the, the ps5 pro So yeah, point being, oh yeah, here's, here's another comparison. Like, yes, her, her face is sharper, sure. But you're really still going to spend that much money. How about no? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, the with the Dr. Evil fucking... You know, moving his chair for it. How about no? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. So okay, hold on. Let me see if it's in here, in the docket, on the topic of PlayStation, right? Um, let me see. Oh yeah. So basically, yeah. This is another one too. Meanwhile, with Sony, right? There are allegedly going to reveal a uh, Horizon uh, remake. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear about that? That was, that's so like, what? <laughs> Why? Why, Lord? <laughs> Why indeed, yeah, it's so weird. And then um, on top of that, right, more on shitting Sony. Did you hear about what? How much uh, Concord cost? See, I I I read, I heard from from other people, like holy crap, they really poured in their money on the, on the wrong, on the wrong um. Uh, not friend. It wasn't even a franchise. No, it didn't even. It wasn't even able to become a franchise. Yeah. You just poured the the money in the wrong um pot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They put they put the wrong uh too many eggs in that basket, and uh, they they rotted. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was like four. It was four hundred million dollars, dude. I was like, that's like way more than or that was like twice the amount i thought it was actually i thought it was going to be at most 200 million but 400 million <laughs> like i don't think fucking remake was that much i don't or think let so. alone i don't think kingdom hearts 3 even with the fucking um you know uh, copyright money they had to throw to Disney to use, you know, like Disney IP was that much either. Mm. I don't think that's ever disclosed, a but yeah. Budget of Kingdom March 3, a dollar. A dollar, yeah. And the rest was to fund, was to arch Disney. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's ever dis disclosed, but... Um, wait, wait there. How much did Kingdom Hearts 3 make? Oh, make them. Yeah. How much they made, but... Uh, budget... I don't know. Yeah. No. No info. 
unfortunately. Yeah, it's just estimations and such. Uh, development. Yeah, I don't think they'll ever talk about that stuff. It has, this has to be up there, though, too, with costs and t because of the licensee alone. But but Concord is like, they're, what what licensing, right? Because it's a, it's a brand new thing. Concord was pretty much like their Hail Mary and they missed. Oh, fuck yeah, for sure, dude. Um, Yeah, they're really, they're really trying to like go in on the whole live service thing. And, and yet they only were able to make like, what, two? And then like, at least, and uh, both of them failed. Because you know, mem uh, remember one of them was the Foam Stars thing. Remember that Foam fucking Splatoon game that they're trying to like push? But no. It failed, and then same, and then now same with Concord. Big failure, huge failure. In fact, four hundred million dollars down the drain, and on top of eight years, it's like fuck, man. All because you wanted to hop on that train, but you catch the, caught the train too late, man. <laughs> For sure. Great. It was it was mostly a ship. Yeah. The ship is still moving slowly and you still cannot keep up. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So that's uh another thing to shit on, right? For uh Sony. But here comes this, right? So here's the anniversary edition of the PlayStations. So you have the regular PlayStation 5, you have the Pro right and you got the controllers like the regular controller and the pro controller and then the fucking um i forgot this was what this was called but the um portal there you go yeah um they all have like that the the, the um the classic color scheme the gray and such the even the logo has that same, the classic coloring to it um and even they went as far as um uh which call like making the cable very similar to the um i wonder if there's a shot of it but yeah the charging cable i saw the charging cable picture and then it was like actually similar to the um the ps1 so it was pretty cool um and for those who are worried about the controller um you can actually buy this separately so you can want if you want you can go, go for the edge whatever you call it or you just buy the um the base controller which i guess will be available on the 21st of november um the console of itself will be limited edition so they'll only make uh i guess maybe 12,300 units oh that's for the pro yeah okay and then, I don't know about the controllers, but I imagine they had to make more of those, for sure. I may want to snatch one, just because, but... Yeah, even the packaging looks uh, like it's, like, going back to, you know, those the, the era, right? So, for, the, for those PlayStation fans, you know, they're kind of, like, Googling and ogling over it. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you can kind of see it in the in the in this image, kind of small. But you can, but if you look closely, there's that cable right there. Um, it's basically a US, uh, USB Type C cable, but they they added that little thing to um, replicate the look of that PlayStation controller cable. So that's kind of cool. So. This is kind of like a tiny little W from Sony, but it's like, mm, right. You know, you have all the... It's more of a distraction at this point. Yes, it's 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 kind of like a, uh, yeah, kind of like a red herring or um, distraction or whatever. Yeah, but whatever. I mean, 
I'll be down to try to snatch one of these controllers. They look pretty cool. And considering that both you and I are filling our um, original controllers having the uh, drift. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know what's fucked up? Um, you know, okay, so so we yes, there is that stick drift issue, right? So people will be like, oh, you know, um, yeah, it costs a little more money, but why don't you get, why don't you why don't you get the uh, the edge, right? Because the edge has swappable um sticks. So in theory, okay. whenever um you can you have any of those sticks go wrong, you can buy the stick by itself, right? Mm -hmm. But first off, that's the limited edition um PlayStation controller right so it has a little different a different look to it right second playstation does does a pretty poor job for some reason restocking those sticks in their store so it's really like playing off of like the whole thing like you're just really trying to like milk your wall uh get get um Take your money, right? Snatch your money, essentially. Because they know if people, uh, if if they make these readily available, they're just gonna just buy that expensive controller and then just keep swapping the sticks. Whereas, hey, if you keep buying the controller itself, then it's like, all right, you know, you can squeeze out a little more profit, I guess. But it's like, oh god, right? Yeah, that's another thing to shit on Sony for. That's that's fucked up too. The whole like stick um, production, they don't even like they purpose they probably pur purposefully do that. So there's like less incentive, quote unquote, to buy the edge. Even though the edge itself is actually more expensive, right? It's like, um, well, it's a it's a expensive uh, initial investment, right? Because it's a uh, two hundred dollars per unit per per control, I think, around there. But, you know, if you, like, do the math, right, in theory, it should be cheaper because these controllers are, like, 80 bucks, at least. The the um, regular controllers. But, man, yeah, those sticks. Yeah. And even, even, if, even if you do find a uh, stick to replace it with, if you bought the limited edition controller, it's not going to match up the, the sticks that you have here because it's like it's different slightly different color to it so it's like you know you, you have this like one that sticks out like a sore thumb <laughs> you know so uh that's why i fucking hate sony in that sense too yeah Alrighty, enough on that uh let's go ahead and go on forward with the game's news <laughs> So speaking of Sony and speaking of Kingdom Hearts, we kind of been talking about that throughout the that whole bit. There were apparently more details on um, what Kingdom Hearts Four could allegedly allegedly be like. So according to Culture Crave, it says um, the story is considered to be a reset, quote unquote, for the series. Will be easy for newcomers to jump in. As if the game is not already easy enough, right? But um, anyway, maybe, 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 maybe like the story will be easier to jump into because, like, yeah, Kingdom Hearts is tends to be very convoluted, right? Um, the series will eventually conclude. All right, I mean, um, what is that supposed to mean? You know. Sora's famous line from the first game is any of this real or not will be resolved. And creator Tetsuya Nomura sometimes watches YouTube videos to remember old plot points and details. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's that convoluted, man. <laughs> That's so funny. And you know, I mean, I know, I know you're, um, you're affiliated with these games. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I know you have, I know you have something to say.
boy. <laughs> I mean, right on the top of it saying like it's a yeah, a, a reset. A reset. It's like then don't fucking involve Sora then. Mm -hmm. You want it to be a true uh, a reset? Don't involve Sora. Mm -hmm. He dead. I'm sorry, everyone. Fucking spoilers. Kingdom Hearts 3. Ooh, uh, he fucking dead. He died. And then, okay. but the last, the last part of the Morris thing that he has to watch YouTube videos is like, to understand old plot points and details. Like, I wonder whose fault is that? Right. You had one, two. Well, before you had two, you had one. Then you had the weird ass mobile game that was only in Japan. Mm -hmm. Then you had Chain of Memories. And then two. And mm -hmm. then from two, because of the break period, you had Birth by Sleep. Mm -hmm. And then. 358. Three, yeah, three, three, whatever the S. 358 yeah. over two. Yeah. And you had a uh, fucking. Then you had the uh, fire mixes, yes. which just added more fucking scenes. Like yeah. scenes, ooh ah. Mm -hmm. And then you had the other mobile game, which was a web game that became a mobile game. Yeah. To explain events that was like hundreds of years before the events of Kingdom Hearts, and it's like. Yeah, I wonder what, I wonder why. I wonder why you you need to like remember. Yeah, and then the three D stuff, right? Three D S stuff, uh, and then I had the three D S. Um, where it, if you were paying attention to, um, all three games or past prior games, Sora is not a true Keyblade Master. We didn't need that thing to kind of beat you over the heads. Like, yeah, he, it's not. The only one that was properly chosen was Riku. Kairi was not, I don't want to say a mistake, but she, she wasn't properly chosen. Uh. It's just that um, Aqua's Keyblade chose her as the next uh, wielder. But mm -hmm. At the time, it, well, she wasn't truly properly you know she wasn't you know, it wasn't passed down to her mm -hmm. properly uh-huh that's why Kairi can't really use a keyblade correctly mm. then sora is not really supposed to be anything but just a vessel for um ben yeah. or not ventus ben yeah ventus yeah, <laughs> sorry ventus. ventus genshin ventus yes yeah. for ventus because then was heavily damaged during the fight with um Xehanort. Yes. So technically, it's yeah. yeah so Ventus is the the real Keyblade Master yeah, or whatever. So, but yeah, and then Sora is just a a vessel. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like... But because Venti is within Sora, he can use the Keyblade. Yeah. Is is that? Is that correct yep. to assume? Okay. Okay. And that's why Roxas did not look like Sora. He looked mm -hmm. more Cause, like Ben. Because he's, yes. That's right. And then when you got Shion, Shion is actually Sora's. Nobody. And that fucking... <laughs> Which is weird because it's supposed to... Because she has the look of Kyrie with black hair, yeah. but yeah. But is it be, isn't it wasn't it because like he had a strong love for her or something or like I, I like it was a strong it was a strong bond. Strong bond. They didn't oh, say oh. love. <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just just a strong bond. But people say it could have been the imprint that she did when she hugged Sora when he was a um heartless. Oh. Okay. Because oh, again, mm -hmm. we saw Nomine, who is Kyrie's nobody, so mm -hmm. her nobody plus I mean her heartless self kind of went into Sora, but was still in the <laughs> still in development and mm -hmm. then just popped out. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, yeah. See, this is this is like the convoluted shit, man. It's like fuck, man. No, it's no wonder fucking Nomura fucking watches videos to yeah, remember. And then it's it's also funny because some of those videos that I he I'm thinking he's probably watching they they don't really have the timeline correct or straight. Uh, yeah, like again, who knows? There's no, there's no yeah. true timeline yet. Who knows? If Square those... didn't make a yeah. make a fucking um timeline like how Nintendo did the timeline for. Zelda, Legend of Zelda, yeah. but fucking even Zelda has like no true timeline because yeah, there there people are still theory crafting of when freaking um uh, what's it called Breath of the Wild takes mm, place mm-hmm. or is it is it the, is it during the child era or is it the adult era? Is it mm-hmm. Jesus Christ? <laughs> yeah. And then if it even if it does end, will it actually end, or is it just gonna re, uh, start a new Kino Hearts fucking storyline with you know, I don't know new main character or whatever? Oh, man, let's see if they want to impress me mm-hmm. with Kingdom Hearts four. Yeah, with like the new new worlds and stuff. Show me gargoyles. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Show me that. Yeah. And let me hear Keith's, Keith's voice. Yes. Yes. S- screaming. I live again. Like mm-hmm. just, just out on the side, and I'll be like, "All right, Nomura, sp- you have my attention." The Continue. spell was broken. <laughs> And we live again. <laughs> I'll be like, you may proceed. Mm-hmm. You have gained my interest. Mm-hmm. And I swear, if you say that the gargoyles uh, villain is Xanatos, and it's really the uh, you know the entire cast coming back, I'll be like, so you do have money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the, ain't that the dream? Although I think the and thing then, uh, is, though, sadly, I don't know how Gargoyles is like in Japan. Like, I don't know how popular it is in Japan. That's the thing. <laughs> I feel like that's like, like the one true like obstacle for that f- to happen from happening. But yes, otherwise, that'd be great. Yeah, you know. Bring the dark themes of gargoyles to kind of sort of like incorporate it into like what could be potentially a dark game because um the whole like is this re- all this is this a real or not kind of aspect is Sora really dead is he just like in limbo like what the fuck's going on you know well the theory is because the black box has such a high tie with with everything right now because we don't know what's in this black box um i already forgot his name but um zigbar forgot his actual true name uh-huh. knows what's in the black box right now mm. and then um well also hades knows what's in the black box mm-hmm. and that's the thing like some people are were theory crafting like Sora's dead, but they have the king of you know the actual god of the underworld, god of the dead, Hades, to go like, hey, where's Sora? Point you know, point to the direction and we'll we'll fetch him. But you know, Hades likes to make deals. Yes. Because you know, you make a deal with the devil. So yeah. he'll be like, hey, what do I get out of this? And maybe that's the thing. Riku or Kyrie, you know, strikes a deal with Hades, but like you do, you help us bring back Sora. We'll get you the black box and whatever, and you keep whatever context contents are in that black box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that could be a potential plot point. But hopefully, no more remembers that. Because hopefully he'll watch the act 
the actual accurate videos. We'll see. Alrighty. It's time to sail the seven seas because um like a dragon announced a Gaiden game featuring the fan favorite Majima, who apparently has amnesia. Right? For some reason, why? somehow. And why? <laughs> yeah. And um yeah, he's around Hawaii or in Hawaii. And he is um taking on the the pirate motif. So, um, I didn't realize this trailer was long, <laughs> but I watched the whole thing, um, off stream or whatever. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> when you look at the, some of the combat, it's kind of like, uh, like Devil May Cry almost like very, very much on that side. Because you can do like air combos and like all that stuff too. Um, I don't know if there's like a good shot of it, but yeah. Let me see. I think it was here. Oh, there you go. See, he, 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 that, that brief shot of him jumping. Oh yeah, fucking Samoa Joe. Yeah, Samoa Joe in this. I'm like, hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> he does have a home here in Hawaii. Yep. Yeah, that's. Uh, you that... you played like like um, Infinite Wealth, right? Like from oh, start I... to finish. Or no, you... I have not played Infinite Wealth. I played. Okay, guys. Some I was gonna. Of... I was gonna say there. There's someone in Infinite Wealth that. I didn't know that was in there, and when I saw him, I was like, "Wait, why is he there?" If you're talking about if you're talking about Danny Trejo, then yeah, I, yeah. I know about that. Okay, because they they yeah. show him in the trailer anyway, so it's yeah, yeah. Danny Trejo is definitely in that game for sure. I know that much, but I don't know what happens in that story. So I gotta I gotta catch up on that someday. But anyway, yes, <laughs> some Ojo is here. Um, there's actually a number uh. uh Another uh, Japanese celebrity, but uh, he this guy is a comedian. I recognize his face. I forget his name, but he's in a, like in a comedic group um, called Robert or something like that. It's kind of a weird thing that they, they do with like English words with Japanese comedian groups. Anyway, I think he just liked the English language. Anyway, um. This game is going to be something for sure because um, they're going to bring in, well, they're going to bring back the action gameplay once again. Yeah, the action oriented. Mm hmm. Right. Once again. But now he can jump and like do shadow clones and stuff. And it's crazy, you know. And it's, you know, a game solely with Majima now. And that the the game creator of the Yakuza really always wanted a Machima game. Mm -hmm. So there you go. And it took him this long. Yep. Yeah. So because... the dream is the dream is real for him. Yeah, because uh, Nagoshi San um, was always kind of focused on Kiryu's side or whatever. So, yeah. um, but since he left, um, the new new like creator slash director has taken the helm and uh literally and now yeah, he has yeah, he has new um he has rain now yeah he has rain reigns over the new the uh, like a dragon stuff so yeah taking liberties of doing what he wants which is the majima story of sorts yeah. which okay i might get slapped in my if when i sleep tonight <laughs> kiryu's story is done it's been done for so long Yes. We knew little to nothing of Majima. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's time. In a sense. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah. It, 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 it's time for him to shine. For sure. For sure. As someone who has played uh, enough of um, Yakuza games, yes. I do agree. But the I want 
if they ever do an English dub of this game, mm-hmm. bring back Mark Hamill. As Mark, my... yeah. Which again, a lot of people. <laughs> Mark Hamill was the first English voice actor, and I think the only one, right, for to play as Majima. No, I mean, well, because they did the English dubbing for um, Infinite Wealth, so they have somebody yeah. to voice Majima. But I don't, know, I don't know who did that. But yeah. Um, yeah, for this one, it would be pretty cool to bring back Mark Hamill, just because. It's like going back to his roots, pretty mm-hmm. much. Yeah, pretty much, in a way. Yeah, because I I remember the whole thing with the young yeah being Kiryu. It was like, oh god, it's so weird. Um, for the for infinite wealth, a, yeah. It was a hit and it was a hit and miss. Yeah, like he. I mean, I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you don't want to say it's a miss, but there are some parts that kind of felt like a miss. Yeah. Or just, the, the line delivery right yeah. there. The line, there you go. the line delivery was kind of like, mm, what? Yeah, it's just, <laughs> he just wasn't a good fit, like, as Kiryu, because he's just too young, I feel, you know? Or doesn't have a, enough of a gruff in his voice to yeah. be Kiryu. And Kiryu is supposed to be, like, over 50 at this point. He's been through a lot of shit, like, yeah. you know? Ain't smoking. He he smoked, you know. Yeah. He went through ups and downs, like you know. And he's just he's just getting old, right? So it's, you know, it it would have been cool to bring back the actual, the first English voice actor for Kiryu, you know, because he's he was in the, he was in the same game with Mark Hamill, right? Yeah. But um, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know if Sega or whoever. Casted Young, yeah, just wanted the the YouTube fame or whatever to add on to the marketing or whatever. I I don't know what 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 went down, but it was a m- miscast on their part, and maybe uh-huh. hopefully, yeah, um, maybe hopefully they'll change to a different actor for whichever game. But then again, I haven't played Infinite Wealth. Maybe Kiryu's story is over, over, so maybe we won't see him anymore. I don't know. I don't mean, I, you know, I don't want to sound like a, a butthole or anything, but you know, I just, I just don't think he was a fit for it, a good one, at that. I mean, Yang can 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 act. He can he can voice whatever, right? He because he was um Poochie yep. and and JoJo or whatever, but um, you know, it's just it, it's just it just wasn't a good pick. It just was that's just what it was. At the end of the day. And you know, hey, he has he he had the right to take up for it, and you know he took up the the role, and you know he did his thing. But that's all really all I can say about that. Okay, so that's it for that. Let's try to uh, power through these because I do, really do want to talk about this stuff too because it does involve with well, um, also another pirate. <laughs> but anyway. Let's just try to cream through this. So, Netflix did a, a what was it like Geeked Week or something like that? So they had a bunch of like premieres and such like that. So that included a new Trigger animated uh, Cyberpunk, which is yes, awesome. Um, new trailer for Devil May Cry, which uh, is voiced by John Young Bosch, being Dante. Now, granted, it's supposed no, to be... No, no, it's it, it's Nero. Nero, yeah. Nero just Nero just uh, died this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if if it wasn't white enough already, yeah, he definitely died of white. Um, of course, new um. Uh, I'm sorry. Was it Arcane or is it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. League of Legends. Arcane. League, of, League of Legends. Arcane. Thank you. Um, Sakamoto. I I, I forget his name, but. Uh, the this guy this guy's supposed to be like the former assassin he got he's old and fat but he's still a professional assassin you know that whole trope and then yep of course one piece will we, we will talk about and there's a Laura Croft legend of Lord uh, no, uh legend of Laura Croft Tomb Raider anime right but Lara. Um, mm-hmm. Lara yeah excuse me yeah um, what was it called? Sakamoto Days. Thank you. Okay, that's what it was. 
So I was kind of on the right track. And yeah. Um Tonight City. Okay, I'm sorry. I I I don't know if it's specifically from Trigger, but it's a there's a new there's gonna be a new animated uh animated series for Cyberpunk. And I'm pretty sure I don't expect it to be like connected with edge runners at all because i think edge runners is supposed to be like a one-shot thing but who knows um and then yes yeah, so one piece now we can uh let me see let me see if we can jump right into it but let's see oh i should i should i should have talked about this with the majima stuff so there is a reveal for who's playing majima in the amazon series of Yakuza, like or like a dragon Yakuza, and it is Munetaka Aoki. I am familiar with his face, but I'm not familiar with his other work. I believe he was in Godzilla minus one. Um, who was like the uh, uh, I guess you could say commanding officer for um, Shikishima. And then, you know, he was like the only, the only other survivor and then he blamed Shikishima because, you know, he didn't fire the guns or whatever. Um, yeah. yeah. So let me see. Oh, it is weird. They, mm -hmm. they show him with the eye patch, but with, some of these shots are heavy showing that he still has his two eyes. Yeah. So it, it's like, uh, so it's like how far back? Yeah, it's, that's a good question. Like, and also, how many episodes is going to be dedicated to uh, Majima's yeah. backstory? Because mm -hmm. remember, or for those that don't know, Majima wasn't always crazy. He was actually very like. Mm -hmm. No, he was. He was, he was just pretty a dude. much. He was, he was just a dude. Yeah, he was a dude, but he was pretty much like you, like honorable like he would do the right thing until you know he loses his eye because <laughs> certain certain um sequence of events made him kind of go like you know what fuck it well yeah i mean well okay well i mean that zero does kind of explain things of what he was yeah. like but um uh yeah once those key events took place in zero then he started to become like that unhinged person that you know yeah. as Majima, right? And and like Yakuza one and through whatever, right? And that's when he started when he that's when he finally first met Kiryu. And that's when he said, Kiryu chan, you know that 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 that's the you know Okay. Yeah. And that's the thing. In the later episodes he does not appear like from a dumpster or through a manhole. Yeah. <laughs> just out of fucking nowhere and he's just going like yeah, the Majima Everywhere system. That was like one of the genius like additions to the uh, remake for Yakuza One. Oh, so if I do not see the beautiful side of Majima in that lovely red dress, I'm gonna be pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Which again, I don't know why my friend he wants us to go to Japan during spring he wants to see the cherry blossoms mm. yet he wants to go to that street where you know the yakuza games takes place and i'm like you can go by yourself <laughs> you yeah. see that gate right there we'll be on the other side of the street taking pictures of the gate and walking away mm -hmm. and he's like why what what happens there Go find out. Yeah. Call call us when you find out. We're probably going to be eating uh, sushi at, at one of those restaurants with a big ass crab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I want sushi now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just had takoyaki. I'm um, not fat, everyone. I, I just have good taste in food. In terms of looks, I think he looks like, look like a decent uh, Majima. Just like yeah, he looks like a good young Majima, my just, younger Majima. Yeah, for sure. I just need the hair to be more crazy. Yeah, he does kind of like he does kind of have like a bowl cut kind of thing going on <clears throat> a little bit, but maybe as like the series progresses, maybe it'll get more 
crazy he has the, uncapped. He has the tongue thing now. Yeah, the tongue. Yeah. He does have the eye patch, yeah. But it's just like when or how he loses the eye is kind of crucial. Right. At least they got it. They gave him his bat. The bat, yeah. And he got the suit, right. So that's good. It's really a matter of how he, he gets from here to there, right? I'm too happy. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. That's that's the light way of saying um, now, Majima. It's like, he's happy. Mm -hmm. But you, show, you talk about Kiryu, he comes, he comes even more happy. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so that is the uh, the mad dog Majima for you. Okay. Now for something that we both uh, enjoy watching, reading, reading, mm -hmm. watching. Yes. Watching, so reading. we'll start with Squid Game. Yeah, yeah, Squid Game. Yeah, let's just start with Squid Games. I mean, they yeah. did show off, I think, a little bit of Squid Games. <laughs> Uh, they showed off Squid Games. Um, mm -hmm. From what I recall, it's supposed to take like maybe one, no, two years after the events mm -hmm. of the first game. Okay. And yes, the main, uh, the hero from the first game, he, he's going back into the games to kind of like shut it down, pretty much because of the uh, the past owner, which was the old man, you know, mm -hmm. died. Yes. So, so someone else now has, you know, the seat. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like the ownership. The yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I really like. I just want to like, know mm -hmm. what the uh, the games are going to be. Yes. Are they going to bring back like fan favorites, like the high, the red light, green light? Mm -hmm. And then the uh, what do you call oh. the, the the what do you call yeah, the, the wafer the thing, the cookie thing? They had to like cut it perfectly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll definitely see. But now, yes, now this 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 mass this uh this is what we uh, both uh, have been waiting for to talk about. So, yes. The One Piece Netflix has officially announced the next casting sort of call for two very powerful characters or important, important, char yeah, important, important characters. Important characters. Mm -hmm, very. Um, which is Mrs. Zero slash Sir Crocodile. Yes, I know that's spoilers, but whatever. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Fucking like, what? Ten, ten plus years of <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> And that who is being played by Joe um, Maganello and um, Miss All Sunday is being played by uh, Lara Obova. So, yes, Nico Robin, whatever. So, <laughs> um, is it, yeah. That's Nico. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yes, for those who know, who, who are nerds and all that stuff, he, d he did play back in his day. Um, at, as a younger little lad, as Flash Thompson in the uh, Sam Raimi Spider Man. Yep. So <laughs> I had to um, bring up this meme that, that somebody made, or with the caption of, he took an L from Peter Parker, now he'll take one from a movie. <laughs> yep, and it's just <laughs> random screenshot memories. <laughs> Yep. But see, that's the thing. We're not going to see this fight in this season. I know, I know, like, but it's the build-up, you know. It's the eventual. It's the build-up, because I think it's going to be the last... Probably the last two episodes, or probably, like, the last episode, last 20, 20, to 10, well, 20 or the 10-minute mark, we're mm -hmm. going to see all of them mm -hmm. sitting, sitting and then just discussing, like, you know, what's the next plan? And then we're probably going to see um, uh, Vivi's. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. We're not supposed to say her name. Shit. Mm -hmm. Miss Sun or Miss Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We're going to see Miss Wednesday's dad, you know, freaking like tied up or, you know, like held held in trial. Yeah. Because they're, they're going to try and not make it what for one. 
yeah. in front of them and going like, "Okay, hey, what are we going to do with it? And we're just going to probably just see the cigar and, and the hook, the hand, you know, his hook in the ship from coming out of the shadows and then going like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe. And he, he just starts laughing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good, that's a good, like, guess of when uh, Cobra will be captured or help captive or whatever. I think he'll already yeah. be captive just to, like, speed up the story. Yeah, speed up the story. Yeah. yeah. That's a, that's a, I think that's a good uh, prediction on that. Yeah. And, hell, it could be Mr. Mr. 3 or um, all of a sudden they will, will be the one that brought him in and, and throw him in front of Crocodile. And like, mm-hmm. here. Here, right. here he is, boss. Hurry up. Mm-hmm. Toby Maguire as Ivanko. That'd be really funny. <laughs> I mean, as we were saying, like, before we started, mm-hmm. it would be funny because Mr. Three can, you know, shape shift yes. himself. Mm-hmm. Probably it was, it's just like a brief, like, Toby Maguire, like, cameo, like, hi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I like that. I'm gonna kick some dirt in your eye, you miss Sam. Kick some dirt. Put some dirt in your eye, you miss Sam. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Um, I think there was another tab I wanted to open. Hold on, let me see. Tab with with my baby boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fucking Flash Thompson with the hook. Oh man. You gotta love it. Uh, I think this one is from Nef- the Netflix themselves. Yeah. Okay. We already look at that. Yeah, because they 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 had the video playing of like um they're going behind the stage and or backstage and yes. And... Um. <laughs> yeah, there's the video of her, you know, walking around. Yes, I'm standing. Yep. Yep. So. I wish. Okay, this is just me. Because Nico is one of my top three favorites of the Straw Hats. Mm-hmm. I kind of wish she did the pose already. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like when yeah. she turned around, she just did that. And I'm like, oh, we're jumping way ahead, but okay. She should have been wearing at least a cowboy hat on stage, but you know, you know. <laughs> the cowboy hat, or, you know, to try to be true to her character, have a book on her. Cause, you know, oh, yeah, she, she likes, likes reading. reading. Oh, this one's <gasps> <deleted. gasps> <laughs> oh no <laughs> got deleted um let me see musk strikes again yeah and then yes there's the... is a baby boy. there's this yes chopper from behind so we don't really get to see his face but get a, get a little get a little sneak peek yeah the hat's furry which is um i'm not surprised i think i, I always imagine it was kind of sort of like yeah, I always thought it was like a, like like um like a bit fuzzy. Yeah, a bit fuzzy. Yeah, exactly. So I I I, well, I will take that. Yeah. And then the horns. Yeah, you know whatever. Can't really say too much about it. But see, it's the voice. That yes. I'm learning about now. Is it gonna be probably the the actual VA of Chopper for the English? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> emergency food. <laughs> when 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 the sugar rush hits, right? <laughs> yeah. Or when the hunger strikes, man. <laughs> um Let me see. Where was that video? Let me see. I think I think it's on Oh yeah, there's more like glamour shots of uh Maganella. At least she's getting getting the What's it called? The mannerism of yeah. how crocodile is. Yes, yeah. I just wish he already had the coat over his shoulder and just already mm-hmm. started to do the poses, like mm-hmm. the sit down poses and shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There's a uh, Maganella right there, <laughs> posing. Whatever. I oh. just don't want the hook to be comically big. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to. We'll, we'll definitely have to wait and see about the hook for sure. Uh, where's the? I swear there was a, some sort of like behind the scenes thing. 
on here. <laughs> but yeah, we get the gist of it, right? I mean, yes, they reveal the casting for Mrs. Zero and Miss All Sunday. Um, yeah, that was BB, of course. Or excuse me, Miss Sun Miss Wednesday. I don't know. They excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is your name? Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. maybe maybe uh, the deleted uh, tweet or whatever was that video. So maybe Netflix wanted to post it on their own, on their own whim. Um. Well, yes. Any other comments about like the casting or? Oh, uh, it's not comment. Well, it's not about the casting. It's more of a bring back the the wanted. How they did the wanted poster. This that I really like how they showed the pirates with the wanted posters. Same. And how they interacted with that. I think that was some of the coolest parts for um the, the Netflix, Netflix one yeah. piece. Yeah. So which again, maybe that's how maybe that's how we get crocodile. Or I'm sorry, Mister Zero. <laughs> he stabs, you know, he uses his claw and he just stabs through the paper and then he reels it back and mm -hmm. he just looks at it mm -hmm. and then just tosses it. Yes. Uh, Mr. Three could be melting the the wanted poster with his wax. Just go and just wipes it off like from the screen mm. Yeah. Also, let's not forget we still have. Well, I mean, I I know this is like going far ahead, but like um, Mr. Two and Mr. One to be revealed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're probably gonna be revealed, but they're gonna be hidden in the shadow. Yeah. Like yeah, you kind of get a little little tease, little taste. Yeah. When they're when they're like. In the, I'll, I'll call them, I'll keep calling it, but small console meeting, uh, console meeting. Yeah. 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 Along with, you know, Mr. I Four do. and, uh, Miss yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Well, to which I want to, I kind of want to see a bit of Miss All Sunday mm. with her wanted poster. It's like all her, her um, hands and they just like, they don't rip it, but they ethically like just take it off of those mm -hmm. off of the screen and just place it in front of her. Yeah. Yeah. To which again, when when we get to like the later, hopefully the later seasons, when she does her clutch, we mm. we actually see it. Yes. Yeah. Because everybody, uh, I don't know how you're missing it. She actually kills people doing that. It's not like a comedic, like, oh, they fainted. It's like, no, she actually... Well, she either kills them or breaks their bones or something, right? Because uh, I remember when Spandom got, got you know, his ends meet, right, with uh, Robin. She, like, broke yeah. every bone his body. Oh, his body, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, like, did the... the she he like, became the, the ultra mm -hmm. paraplegic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, of course, you know, an, on, on anime, the... anime logic, so he's, he's like, back kind of ish. Yeah. <laughs> But other times she's either like crushing, you know, if it's a guy, they're they're nether regions. And mm -hmm. she squeeze yeah. a little too hard. Mm -hmm. Other times you can see the hands like on top of someone's head, and it's like, it's like, wait, I know that, I know that hand posture. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I think I'm actually gonna do that scene though with Frankie and Robin. <laughs> With orange, <laughs> orange. Orange. <laughs> God. But Chopper, I want him to, to stick to his little, like, you no know, childish, like, like his little movements. Like mm. that. Yeah. I want him to do the, do the whole like, um, hey, don't compliment me, you bastard, <laughs> kind of yeah. troping and the. Uh, him hiding, but his, his whole body is like out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever he's hiding. I, I know it's later in the series, but I kind of want those small moments when they're on the ship and um, Luffy and Chopper were having their, you know, uh, we're having fun making, you know, making fun of each other. And mm -hmm. not fucking Robin, you know, sprouts horns on Luffy's horns. head, and he. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Do not bother me. No. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, what are those what are those idiots doing? It's like you leave them alone. Mm-hmm. They're having fun. <laughs> yeah. I definitely want to see how um Robin and Nami bond because they have like that nice like sister bond yeah, the thing. Sister, right? The sister, yeah, this is the sisterly bond thing. And then, like, and then you have, yeah. uh, um, then you have Carrot. If we do go that far, like, um, oh, how right. did... but to me, I think, which would be a disaster in my opinion, they go all the way right before the trial of Ace, and they just end there. And I'll be like, no, did you? We. We need to see that that hole for the six thousandth time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. To which again, if they do do he fell down and stuff, and if he was still you know you know in good health, fucking Tim Curry as Eva Chan would be fucking like perfection right there. I, yeah, but he is a. Uh... Incapacitated, uh, unfortunately. Which again, maybe fucking have. I know Tim. I know Tim Carrot would be a would be a fucking fa- fantastic Bon Chan. Mm-hmm. But if you make him Eva Chan, yeah. Instead, I will fucking support that. Mm-hmm. But yes, I think Jim Carrey is better as Bon Chan. Yes. Yes. I think he. I think um, the the Jim Carrey ness he does w- uh would fit better with Bon Clay, than um, Ivan Kov. And then Ivan Kov. I don't know. What if it was RuPaul or something? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's so okay. That's funny that they already mentioned Cross Guild. That's so far ahead. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> How far are we going into this season? Right? There's only like eight episodes. How much are we cramming? I know, right? Which I, I just want to say, it's probably going to be like the last 10 to 20 to 10 minutes of the last episode. Mm-hmm. That's when they're going to show all these big players. Mm-hmm. Unless they took a, they take a spin on it, like... Whatever Luffy is doing, like on the other islands, yeah. Somehow Crocodile and and friends are aware of it, and they sh- and they kind of just show like, oh, what is their like response to it? Yeah. Which I think, at that early stage, Mister Zero would be like, you know, like eh, nothing bothering, you know, mm-hmm. nothing too serious. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, back on the Mister Zero and Miss All Sunday, they get uh, well, Mister Zero here specifically. They hope they get the the hook right, not too big, not too small. Obviously, get that get that right. You know, just right. Um. Don't do not be afraid to have him have a cigar in his mouth. Yes. Because he is a smoker. At the end of the day. He loves his cigars. It's also funny with Joe's picture. Mm-hmm. At a fast glance, I thought that was Travis. <laughs> <laughs> right? Go pull up Travis. Uh, are you talking about... Um... Travis with um, yeah, okay. um, Laura Bailey's husband. Yes. But just put them side by side. It's like... Okay, I can kind of like... Okay. Yeah, like at, at a fast glance, mm-hmm. when quick, like quick, that. Yeah. yeah, 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 kind of like that. Yeah. Um. No, no, no. Right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like at a fast glance, it's like travels. <laughs> yeah, I can. Okay, I'm. I can definitely start to see the similarities with each other. Yeah, obviously he has a little more gray, but yeah, if he had more gray, yeah. That's funny. Okay, if they were gonna bring Travis into one piece, what character would he fit? Travis? Yeah. 
Hmm. Just by looks. Just by looks. Let's see. What does he look like right now, though? Does he look like like this right now? Like kind of similar to that? Oh, maybe right here. Huh? He looks like the. I'm just judging by the gray. It's a little bit more grayish. Okay. Yeah, kind of like that right now. Okay. That. Hmm. I feel like he definitely could play one of the Mari like the uh the important marines. I just don't know who exactly. He's one of the celestial dragons. Oh, I'll be yeah. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> that would be pretty funny actually. I oh, can yeah. see Laura Bailey if they mm. as well. That sounds uh I kind of, I personally want to see her as Captain Hina for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why Hina came came first in mind when you when you mentioned Laura. Um, I was I was going to say um, Cammy. Who? The, uh, the mermaid, the one you first meet. Oh yeah. Okay. Interesting. Say that, say that, now you bring bring up the mermaid. I'm trying to think of who would be a good um, uh, what's her name? Like Char, Sh Charlie? Yeah, oh, no, she, Char the, the the fortune teller. You know, um, Ar Arlong's oh, no. like Arlong's like half sister, or whatever you call it. Um, who who who'd be a good Charlie? Because. Okay, I forgot, I forgot how to spell her name. Hold on. Dude, um, Arlong. Yeah. It's Shy RV. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's like a weird, yeah, pun yeah, of like, um, shark and whatever. Um, Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's like Shy Arlie. <laughs> yeah, I, say, I, just, I just say Charlie, just because it's easier. Yeah, younger half-sister, yeah. Who, who would be a good Charlie? You know, uh, I know she's. Can I uh, bring up like a good picture of Charlie? Like this one or a different picture? Yeah, that one. Okay. Um, and then here. What this actress? I'm gonna just DM yeah. you. Okay. Uh, hold on, my mouse is acting a little weird. Oh. Wait. Should I uh Google this person? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. 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 So Li Bingbing, mm. she was Ada. In the live action um, uh, Resident Evil movies. Oh, Ada Wong, yeah, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that could be a she could be a good candidate. Oh, what's her what's her name? Um, uh, Michelle Young. Was was it? Um. Oh, Michelle Young. <laughs> yeah. Mulan? Yeah, um actually hold on. No, hold on. No, no, Michelle no, Michelle Young is from way. no, I'm talking about um like from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Michelle, yeah. Yeah, I was like Milan is Oops. Mina, no, right? Rodriguez. <laughs> Sorry. Oh wow. Michelle no. Rodriguez as a she or she? Okay. Who who is she fit into one piece? I feel like she'd be a really good actress for One Piece, but just who? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I, maybe I wanna... one of the, uh, one of the Navy. One of the Navy, um, 
Officers. Yeah. Officers. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> the. Mm-hmm. What's her name? The the old one. I mean, not to say that she's Michelle Yeoh. Oh, old, but... oh, you know what? I was actually kind of starting to think the same thing. Uh, Tsuru. Yeah. Yeah. Admiral. Uh, Vice Admiral Tsuru. Uh, let me bring her up. Yeah. No, I yeah. no, no, I I think I I would. That would be a. A good pick. But then who would? Oh yeah, see, pick? yeah, see, especially when she was younger. Yeah. Yeah. That actually be a good fit. And then, yep. Right but, there. I would dye her hair gray. <laughs> you bring you bring her you bring her in. Um. Then you you gotta find someone to play a good Sin Goku. Right, right, right. That's 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 the other like half or the other sort of question, right? Into which again people said Goku's a giant. He's pretty tall. He's pretty tall. Yeah. Oh no, well, actually, no, he, no. Oh no, actually he's nine one, never mind. <laughs> he's pretty fucking tall. Yeah, he's a giant to us. And yes. then when he activates his uh, his um devil fruit, it's like Dude, I forget. I keep forgetting. Garp is supposed to be huge too. He's like nine five. Yeah, Garp is fucking. That's why I wish in the Netflix the hat. The hat would have sold it. His little dog hat would have sold like I how he, big he is. I thought he uh, he did wear it though. Yeah, he did wear it, but it wasn't like small because you know that thing's supposed to be tiny. Yeah, like <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I mean, I like it. It's cute, but it's supposed to be like tiny. Mm-hmm. Come on his head. Oh yeah, he wore the yeah. That's right. He he did wear that outfit. That's right. Yeah. But again, if we, you know, if we go. Into the future, you know the the live action looks uh blah, blah, yeah blah. yeah. Who would be a good queen? That is a pretty good question. Who would be a good queen, and would they be able to sing Queen's song? <laughs> And do the whole stupid. It'd be dance. really funny. I know, I know, I know. This is a stretch, but Jonah Hill. <laughs> Actually, Jonah does kind of fit. He just I mean, they probably going to digitize him a little bit. You know, the, like that, yeah, on, more on the chubby side, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, but just hearing Jonah here say zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> and doing the fucking little dance, the little dance, yeah, I mean, <laughs> so goofy. <laughs> Punk. It's like no, you said fuck. No, I said punk. It's like no, you said fuck. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm trying to bring up that Mulan actress. Hold on. Um, Ming Na Wei. Was it? Oh, hold on. Yeah, right there. Ming Na Wei. Right by um. Oh yeah, yeah, I got it. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Who would she play? Fuck it. They would just have to just digitize it. Hancock. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Falling in love with Luffy? Damn. <laughs> There's a whole, uh, you know, looking down, quote unquote, looks down. <laughs> Fucking bends over her. Yeah. Like, she definitely. If you be, wanted... Yeah, she'd definitely be like a good older Hancock when, like, let's say, like, when One Piece is over or it, it's ending and then you see Hancock, right? Full Hancock. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Hmm. She f feel like she can. She could be somebody else that's also very important. Marine. No. 
Um, you know, funny you bring up uh, Hancock. I think she could be. Uh, let me see. Uh, what's her? I think she could, she could, she would be a good a, a potential pick. I would say for uh, for Shaki. Oh wait 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 wait, maybe not Shaki. Uh, Monet. Oh Monet. Oh Monet. Oh. Yeah. yeah, with green hair. Yeah, maybe if if we go that far. If we go that far, yeah. She already she already played a ego like er character, which was in um, Transformers. Uh, was it the babies? Mm. It was the Falcon. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Oh man, but Hubi, you can if we yeah. bring. Mm. Oh, who who be Don Flamingo? Who be Do uh, Do Flamingo, dude? Johnny Yangba. <laughs> You just hear you hear him laughing, but it's like Ichigo or fucking Nero's laugh, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it'd be, it'd... oh no, fucking fucking because he can't, he can't get the body. Fucking um, what's his name? <sighs> not not Jude Law. Uh, Ryan Gosling, <laughs> just fucking that. He I already mean, wore that, he that... already wore pink. He's, so, I mean, he's been memed to be um, Dolph yep. Mango, so I don't see why not. <laughs> oh, yeah. When he had the goggles on. It's so funny. He has goggles and he's I know, it's like, why do you have something? the glasses and the goggles? <laughs> yeah. To protect my glasses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're just going like, eh? Mm-hmm. Who would be a good koala? Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, oh. koala, and then on top of that, um, Sabo. Yeah, Sabo. Koala, Sabo, and then, yeah. Dirk's hit hell, the rest of the fucking revolutionaries. Well, that's the thing with Batar and Milo. Um, Kuma is like, if only, if only Kronk from Emperor's New Groove was a real person, then mm -hmm. that would be fucking a good Kuma. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, um, what's his face? I, I forget the voice actor's name for Joe. Um, or Krong, yeah, excuse me. Krong, Joe, um, I keep forgetting, um, I think his name is Samson? His last name is Samson in Adventure Brothers? Oh, um, yeah, hold on. Uh, oh, yeah, no, it's, uh, oh, yeah, it's this, it's this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warburton. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to imagine him as um, Puma. <laughs> it would be more funny than anything. Um. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. They only did the the hooded thing. Yeah. Yeah, the back shot. The back shot. So we don't know who Wait. that is playing. I mean, and again, in the first episode, we saw a crocodile, but he was female for it. Yeah, I mean, well, that, well, probably. that, that's just the, I don't know, like, who, who is that chick, right? But we don't know still, because, I mean, it could be, it could be well, anything, but yes. did did have past interactions with Eva Chan. Eva Chan, yes, yes, that is true. So who the fuck knows of what that, who that chick was at the uh, execution thing? In the live action side of things, anyway. And yes, 
uh, in the anime, they've always shown the backside of Crocodile. So it's supposed to be like, yo, hidden and shit. So we don't know. Again, if they go all the way towards the, um, the execution and stuff, I want to know how they're going to play the scene and Intel down of Eva Chan just figuring out that Luffy is dragons. Mm -hmm. But that was freaking hilarious. Oh, dragon? Oh, he's my dad. <laughs> Your dad. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll just what? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Sabo. All right. Uh, I think we can put a cap on that. So yeah, we did good. Yeah. Maganello and Aboba. I think they're pretty good picks. We just have to. I. It really. It really comes down to what the costumes look like. I. I really want to see what they look like in costume. Yeah. Cause other than that, like, yeah, okay, maybe he ha he does have the face. I don't know, but Aboba does have the beauty, right? But let's we'll see how, how what she looks like with the straight hair, the cowboy hat, all that stuff. You know. That's really what uh, what winds down to. So, with that, thank you very much for tuning in. It's been fun, especially with the One Piece bit. Um, uh, always fun to have y'all watching. And uh, we'll come back and we'll definitely talk about Hitachi because that's when his trailer will be out by then. And um, hopefully we'll talk about more than just Hitachi. Maybe, may, maybe we'll see a, a trailer, maybe a, a teaser trailer for One Piece season two. I don't know. That's pro That's being that's a stretch. <laughs> maybe a stretch. But um, I'll but, but I'll, I'll probably talk about my misery with uh, my King Caesar pulls. <laughs> now that's that's gonna be painful, man. <laughs> I'm praying to the gotcha gods, please. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you just see a gotcha god doing this. No, no, <laughs> the, fucking, <laughs> the fucking finger from uh, Asura's wrath. Yeah, <laughs> no, instead of blessing you like this, it goes like no, no. <laughs> Man, that that game, that if there's a if there's a remake. Need, that needs to happen. I think Asura's Wrath should be like remade to a an actual like action game where you can like destroy shit. Whereas you know it was kind of like a episodic, episodic. It's very limited on the gameplay, UTE. You know. Yep. But anyways, that's a whole another conversation. With that, thank you very much. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.